Are you going to cover the PB tournament from Iguana this weekend? That's a great question. That is a great question. If you look at it right here, you go to Iguana. You tweet about his, his tournament. Oh, look at that. There are two main broadcasts as well as a bunch of other people co-streaming. That's right. That's right. Myself. Frodan. How does he do it? Streaming every day. Has his hair blue. And not devolving 100% into a Soju clone. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not like 100% uh, clean of the TFT accent, but I think I do a good job managing it a little bit. Can get us a link for the VOD. You mean for the PB VOD? It'll be go up on YouTube. Can you link the C and PB in houses? Oh, you mean this VOD? Yeah, I'll do it after we're done watching it. Why? Then I'm just gonna give you the link, and then you just like uh, scurry off. Stick around. Just have to watch and see. Nice try, guy. I mean, or you could just probably like rewind the VOD and uh, look look at the link. Okay, so uh, this is a in-house with uh, 60 seconds, the POV. Let me go ahead and change it up to the top left cam. I don't know what portal it is, though. Also, I'm not sure if this new graphic font thing is working. So if it ends up uh, being a little hard, I might end up switching it to a different thing. But... Ooh, wandering trainer. Um, I can't really play the game sound of the streamer very much because one, I don't really understand Mandarin very clean, and two, they they play a lot of Chinese music that ends up being a, a problem. You mean the thing that says C and set up? Yeah, yeah, that one. I mean, I, I I can see it on my preview screen. I'm not sure if it actually looks good. The font is not it. Let me see if I can increase you. I mean, I try. I try to maybe do I change it to a different color? color. Maybe I'll change it to like a little bit more of like a like a brown nose. Pick screen color. Oh. Meh, it is what it is. Oh, oh, let me, let me turn off the app and let me turn off the app and maybe put it on the map place. Who cares about the map? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out in a little bit. Okay. So this is the Timo encounter and Timo allows you to reroll one time. It's a bit out of place. Okay, I, I can just go back to the previous way it was. Uh, I'll just go back to the previous. Way. I, I, I have the graphic from I from set up from set ten, and I can just go back to it, or I can just do the the good old janky way, you know. Just uh, <laughs> uh, I'll just take it down for now. It's fine. The good old janky way of just putting up the the, the text and then just uh putting on a little background gradient. Give me a sec. There you go. Okay. Do you think games should start just designating a streamer cam corner? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. What do we have here? We got two wandering trainers. Oh man. This guy's playing around Exalted and Wandering Trainers. Start things off. So we got Faded, Warden, and Sage. Well, it's pretty, pretty decent if you want to play around the, uh, play around a lot of, uh, Faded. Preston, thank you for the raid, buddy. Hope you had a good 
instead of in-house games we're watching cn uh in houses we're watching some cn in houses this is 60 seconds pov i don't know what portal it is though but um because he we we it, it started the game at one two not not exactly the very beginning did you fix your audio no i didn't i didn't <clears throat> i'll i'll hit you up later i'll i'll hit you up later thank you man is exalted emblem a thing no it's not no it's not dude jg slam for china we're watching china all right they slam jg first item that's the most china thing ever china loves jg china loves shoujin but they love shoujin jg even more the combination thereof okay 60 second The exalted units are Ari, Caitlyn, Darius. Let me see. Go back. Ari, Caitlyn, Darius, and Kabuko. Ari, Kate, Darius, Kabuko. Uh, Garen. And then one more. Tables, salted, and Malphite. Malphite. Boom. Don't say I never did anything for you. Are you dual wielding streams? What do you mean? Can we get a JG emo for CN? Yeah, right. We should definitely have what a dedicated G, uh, C emote for, uh, for for how much China loves Jewel Gauntlet. Don't play. It. I don't get it. Dual wielding. I'm convinced there's like ten people on the Demacian Raptor account. There's no reason every stream chat look. Yeah. Yeah, they're oh oh you're talking to Raptor. I'm talking to Raptor, got it. <laughs> Raptor has added the JG email, so anytime someone types China, <laughs> a jewel gauntlet appears. I like that. I like that. Okay, so we're playing around Kindred. It makes sense. Kindred, I think Kindred's actually a really good two cost play around. Not buying early Lilia. Lilia is one of the premier EP costs. I'm thinking people play around, but he's not. Oh, you know what I just realized? It's going to be really hard. I, I to ha you basically have to like have this uh, this encounter guide. Okay, here we go. Enca uh, uh, who has all the encounters? Tactics that tools. Set 11. Tables. Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix causes EXP to cost three gold instead of four for the next three rounds. That is the encounter. So yeah, he has more gold than usual. So he levels to six. And now he's at uh, a clean zero out of 36. Interesting. He keeps his tempo high. I will say one thing. I think encounters will a lot of times disrupt a lot of people who play very rigidly and like think like you always do this. You always like slam these items. You always roll here. I think encounters requires you to think about the game more fluidly. I don't want I don't want to start using the uh the F word here. <clears throat> Flexible, right? That's that's the that's the buzzword everyone uses. You do something that is uh not exactly written by the the dot down to the dotted I and cross T of the guide. Oh, I'm flexing, I'm flexing. Wait, wait, wait. Instead of uh instead of blue buff, I slam Shojin. I'm flexing. That's like the TFTism. So I don't know about I don't know if it's like flex gaming, but I think encounters do require you to be more open minded. You are more likely to be forced to do something for the first time ever in a tournament. Okay, I can see that. I'll, I'll, I'll noodle on that a little bit. I'll noodle on that. Aatrox pair. What up, Kevin Parker? That was not the F word I was thinking of. 
It's uh, it's one it's one of the forbidden F words. There's two F words in TFT. One is flex, and the other word, the one you're you're not allowed to say under any circumstances. Fun. Okay, I just said it. Just this one time. The third is Frodan. No, what? <laughs> you can say my name all you want. I'm not like Voldemort. Trash to treasure. Whoa, this guy got Mogul's Mail Diamond Hands. Oh wait, never mind. It's not uh it's not charging up during the diamond hands and vulnerability period. Still gets the 40 gold though. That's pretty good. I think Yone Yone has improved a lot. Yesterday I went eighth with the Yone, but that's because I think I built Yone really wrong and I was approaching uh, I was approaching how to play Yone wrong. I think uh, a lot of people are le are learning how to play Yone builds and I anticipate Yone to be kind of strong right now. Okay. I mean, one pick I'm thinking about right now is Freaky Friday, just so you can get like the three items. Oh, he has an extra reroll per prismatic. Okay, so he actually can roll pretty aggressively. He has six free rerolls thanks to the Teemo augment. Wow, he didn't even he didn't even bother rolling again. Interesting. That that must mean that this is prismatic party. I'm just gonna go ahead and put, go on a limb and just write prismatic party. How do you build Yone? Uh, I think people want to build him like a traditional fighter, kind of like what we did build him last set, like a uh, BT Titans. Or you can go for like Edge of Night as well, like Edge of Night and Hodge. Man, I'm getting more like dogged again. Hi, Froden. Hope you're having a good day. Three. <laughs> Emmy, thank you so much. I'm having a great day. Today was a really busy day. So it was a very, very busy day at work. And, uh,. I mean, I, you know what you do after a, a nice long day of work with a ton of meetings is uh, stream for the rest of the day. <laughs> you just hovered over the portal. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's looking like it's two prismatics, but I'm not entirely sure. I, I can't read. I can't read a lot of it, unfortunately. And they also changed a lot of the names of uh, the portals before I was starting to catch on to like which ones were like item payouts and stuff like that. But they just took it out. Wait, this guy got Aegis and Q-Cone. Syndra. JG Hodge. Or JGGS, rather. Why would him not re-rolling lead you think it's Prismatic Party? Oh, because he, he knows that he wants to pick this Prismatic Augment. And he doesn't want to roll into a Prismatic Augment. That would potentially not be something he could roll later on. You can't roll the same prismatic augment twice. So if he gets offered blinding speed, he can't get offered it again the next augment. And so like maybe he's saving it, so to speak. Like he's like, okay, I'm done doing this. I don't want to roll and then like miss my chance of taking, I don't know, Jeweled Lotus 3 or something else. It's it's a it's a little bit uh it's a little bit next level, but I wouldn't think too much hard about it. Are they chatting in game aug or chatting in game that much? Uh, not really. They're, they're they're sweating a lot. A lot of the Chinese in houses, they're actually betting on who does the best. Um, they're they're betting uh, who, like I think, I think it's like five to ten dollars per game usually they wager, which is uh, it adds up a lot if you play like ten to twenty games in a day. Okay, this guy took a uh, JG Mythic Emblem. Oh, that guy has two Mythic Emblems. So he's going Lilia for sure. Yone. I mean, you need three Mythic Emblems for um, 10 Mythic, right? What happened to precedent? <laughs> he got married and became better looking. 
And he also grew six inches. <clears throat> but he got worse at TFT. Grew six inches where? <laughs> I don't have to dignify that with an answer. The Lilia one for the mythic. Syndra. Do you guys think do you guys think Syndra or Lilia is better? I think a lot of people say Lilia is better, but I'm curious. Do you guys think on average, like who would you rather play around? Syndra or Lilia? Lilia lately, Lilia for sure. Lilia, Lilia for me, it's not even close. Lilia, Syndra, because super tanks are annoying. Okay, it looks like most people say Lilia. He's not even giving any like he's giving his um his Aegis and Q cone. Like his frontline's actually not very good, but he's playing around Syndra for now. Largely because he has a faded emblem on his uh, wandering trainer. If you're wondering why he's playing around Syndra and not around Lilia, it's because he has this, the faded emblem. Seven faded is a lot of stats, though, if you think about it, right? 700 or sorry, 300% stat boost. So you just get a lot of, you got a lot of AP and you get a lot of combat damage because he's giving, he's giving Ari's bonus, which is a bunch of AP. And then Sindra's bonus, which is a bunch of bonus damage. What, what is it? 30% bonus damage and like, like 90 AP or something like that. That's, that's a lot. That is a lot. You almost don't, you actually probably don't even need any more Arcanists. Like you can just play these for two Arcanists. And they can just start playing other units. Brandon, are you going to make YouTube videos for Set 11 because I need help and I'm scared? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually uh, in the process of filming a couple. I have a comp tier list that I'm currently making. But the problem is I have a tier list that I, I made. But the meta is actually shifting right now as we speak. Because a lot of people think that the meta is shifting a little bit away from four cost. Right now on PB is a lot of four cost play. And people are thinking reroll might actually have some legs. So I'm thinking that I have to wait to see what the meta is going to look like after the tournament. So I'm going to finish filming uh, the, the comps after the weekend. And then I'm also going to make an item tier list and uh, to show, talk about what items you should be thinking about. And I'm also making my first uh, guide. My first guide is how to play fortune on the new set. So that'll be like the first three videos that I'm going to be making for in terms of guides on the set. Sullivan heard the word legs and, and stopped listening. A spark is good. We get uh, some shred going. I think Vow is also not uh, not bad here, but he probably wants to save tier for this and just because we can get AP items. Or sorry, a mana item. Not, an, not just an AP item, but he needs a mana item. Okay, so he's going to go for four Arcanists. What? Why is he zooming in? He, what was that zoom in? Was he staring at uh, Zyra very closely? What, what was going on here? I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> Half of a shoujo. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I started in set 10, so not having headliners is weird. Yeah, if, you, if, our, if you're used to playing headliners, uh, you are going to have to change a, a, a little bit about how you approach TFT than you did before. Headliners gave you a lot of early game power and some late game spikes that you have to adjust for, but they give you encounters, which can help do the same thing. Crash the treasure, rerolls. I think we're going to reroll most of this. Oh, is he thinking about taking Radiant Relics? Try to go for like blue buff or something, Shojin. This is Baboom, the the one that says when you cast the second time, you get seventy five percent more bonus damage. That sounds fun. That's like huge damage. He just rolls once each. Okay, you know what it is? I changed my mind. He's not playing. He is. He did play around Prismatic Party. I think he just forgot that he gets one extra reroll. <laughs> I think he just forgot. That's all. You read the encounter and then uh, you're like, whoops. Yeah. Is it the team of portal? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. We've all been there.
Isn't Baboom insane for Syndra? I mean, it sounds good. Every other time she casts, just 75% more. Is it per butterfly? No, no, no. That, that'd be crazy. Actually, I could see it. it kind of depends on like the wording of Baboom. I have to read it very carefully. I can't wait for these videos. Do you have any tips to learn new sets? I made to Masters last set, but I feel so lost on PB. Here's my first tip. My, my first tip. If you don't know how to learn a new set in TFT, play Hyper Roll. Because Hyper Roll says, stop worrying about economy and just roll. <laughs> just, just roll for units and see what it's like to play units on the board. Uh, forget about like a big component because uh, when, you, when you're like worried about your economy and timing and leveling, like don't worry about roll. Don't worry about econing. Don't worry about leveling. Just roll. So just figure out what is good and uh, see see what units do, read their abilities. And the games are so fast paced. And honestly, nobody's really keeping track of hyper roll ranks. I'm not. Like, no one's going to look at your profile and be like, dude, you're blue in hyper roll. Right? Like, no one, no one's actually, like, really doing that. So, yeah. It's, I, in my opinion, I think it's a really efficient way to, to learn a set. <clears throat> okay, so we're playing Story Weaver to get the shred going. But we now have Ionic Sparks. So we can probably drop the Story Weaver. He did roll the 10. Holding a Lilia. Is he going to kind of go into Lilia? Probably not. He probably wants to get more Ghana, more utility items in. The nice thing about um, Lilia is that she's an invoker, so you can get more mana. But the problem is right now he needs, he needs to get like a, like a blue buff or a Shojin. Can Ash Syndra dual carry work? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Because you can link it with Aphelios. You can play Ash, Aphelios, Syndra. And you have Faded Sniper. And you buff it. No problem, Jester. Good luck. LMAO blue is a rank. It is. Yeah. They're, 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 Hyper Roll is... Uh, that's what I was saying. Like, it's just, it's just a fun game mode. It's also quick. Also, if you, if you want to play TFT mobile at work play hyper roll don't play a full game especially because if you play a full tft game when you're like on your 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 lunch break or your bathroom break people are gonna wonder what happened to you because it's like 35 minutes later and you're still not back <laughs> hyper roll is just fast bad curry maybe i'll have some curry tonight is the lily a mythic player Just shut your office door. Wait, what? You get your own private office? I don't know. I I, I have yet. I have, I haven't worked in an office environment where I have my own private room. I work in open office spaces. My my working station is in a WeWork downtown in Seattle, and it's just open there. Like everyone can see everyone. I can even see into other offices. It's actually kind of weird. Because every window is like uh, glass, all the walls are glass, and so I can see into every other uh, business nearby. And we're surrounded by, uh, uh, I think it looks like a like a construction or like some kind of some kind of like building related uh, firm, like maybe they like construct buildings or something, and uh, a, a nonprofit called Washington Against Domestic Violence. And that 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 room does not look very happy all the time. <laughs> it's a uh, it's, it's like I'm glad that, that that office exists, but it's kind of depressing. <clears throat> okay, so that one uh, offers you to set yourself on a on a streak, like six win streak or six loss streak. But uh, he decided to take three gold instead. Instead of trying to set his himself to a six win or six loss, he just has to go go for a set. Because he uh I guess the one way you can think about that one, which is um I forgot which champion it was. But you say if if you set your win streak to six, that means you think that you will win two or two more so you can get at least six gold for that streak. If you think you're gonna lose two more, you can lose two more for that six gold. 
but he says i don't know if i'm gonna win or lose i'm kind of in the middle of the power so i'm just gonna pick three gold and just take my guaranteed gold as opposed to being wrong because if you if you take if he took six win streak and then lost here he just lost that streak gold yeah that's that's how you play that that encounter It sounds like an excellent view. I mean, I, I hope that they're making progress. I hope that uh, I'm just saying that like it, it, it's always it's it's always uh, I always feel like I'm intruding on people's privacy. It's probably the best way to describe it. I always feel like I don't even feel like I should be like able to see that if that makes sense. You know, how important we say the exalted is. Do you want to squeeze it into your comp every game if you are not playing reroll? I mean, you want to try to squeeze it in, but don't force yourself to. Yesterday, I played a game where I fast nine without it and I won the game without it okay we got Shojin finally what is oh oh it's the encounter I was about to have a riot games moment I'm like how are four people win streaking I just realized the encounter set up uh yeah that's that's how I was like dude riot what is this match making four people win streaking <laughs> You know, you know what's really funny? Uh, you can get some really ridiculous screenshots now because of encounters. You can get some really, really weird screenshots. This uh, don't trust, don't trust the Twitter bait. I'm hard stuck. Masters every set. Don't worry, don't worry. This set you'll be grandmasters for sure. Opio. can excel your march of progress with it if there are some low level ones are you talking about exalted can you exalted march of progress i think so yeah march of progress just means that you can't press the level up button that's all it means he <laughs> lobby streaking exactly oh man so far, so good. I mean, it looks like 60, 60 seconds and a pretty good. Oh, what is this? Okay. Frontline is uh, Zyra out of nowhere. So far, 60 seconds faded Syndra looks pretty good. Oh, Yone 3. Yikes. Well, this person's at 3 HP, though. Wait, this guy has Infinity Force, Death Defiance, Zonias. That is terrifying. Oh, God. And this guy took six win streak with Harmus's three. Oh no. Oh no. Is Kevin Parker in chat? Don't show him the tech. Don't show him the tech. March plus exalted equals Giga Forced, brother man. I like it. Okay, nice. Syndra two. We're leveling the nine. Getting this Lee Sin in for the Dragon Lord and the Duelist. Don't have a Duelist, okay. Oh, oh, Rakan, Rakan. If you guys, Rakan is such a versatile unit now that you should just try to play him always if you get him right now. In his current state, even if you give him like a minor buff, like in this case, it's the Aegis. Honestly, I'd probably replace, I'd probably put him where the, where the Malphite is so you get the extra AP. Yeah, he actually just noticed it too. He should have put it there. But Rakan, even with this little base amount of stats, can contribute a lot. He can, like, deal 2k damage, tank for 3k, live for a while, and disrupt. Like, Rakan is just so good. Okay, not when, uh... Not when he, like, blinks right in front of a... Or dash right in front of a Silas. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Oh my god! What was that? Alright, I'm ba-boom Syndra every game. That was crazy. That was insane. Dude, he's actually just looking at the damage. He has exalt. He has exalted damage. He has the faded bonus. He's got ba-boom. He's got the... He's got the four arcanist. Is Diana still good? She's all right. She's a, good, she's a decent item holder. She, before, she just did too much damage. Now, she's just, like, reasonably tanky. Oh, oh, ha, a second jewel gauntlet. 
I'm down to remake Syndra so we can have the true biz. The true biz CN build. The true biz CN build. Shoujin JGJG. <laughs> Shoujin plus two jewel gauntlets. That is true biz China. <laughs> In, pe in case people don't uh, understand, we are—it's a meme. I, I don't know why China is so obsessed with JG, but like, it's, it seems to be like a, a thing consistently for about four sets now. They just love Jewel Gauntlet. Aphelios three, Rage Blade, Radiant Death Blade, Hodge. Wow, look at those items in the back. He has two Rage Blades, two Death Blades, Red Buff, and Hodge. So it's like on Ash 1, though. Oh my god. Oh, the boom. Oh no, she got stunned. How'd that happen? Looks like Syndra got stuck there for a second. I mean, I can, go, I can just watch. I can just rewind. What happened here? What? She, she, she had enough mana to cast. She casts again. Cast one more time. And it looks like she's about to cast again. Oh, she got it looks I forgot what I don't I don't know what got her stunned. It was animation locked. Okay. It, it, it was kind of weird. I kind of thought she was gonna cast again. Strange. Will JG on Rakan make Zaya proc crit as well? It theoretically should give her the same amount of abilities, right? The same amount of base stats and effects. So if Rakan can crit, I feel like my instinct would say Zaya can crit. But if that if someone uh, has information otherwise, uh, I, I would take it. I, I would believe you. He rolls. Rolled one time. Found a fifth Sage. He's playing five Sage. Cutting an Arcanist. I mean, pound for pound, I do think Morgana is better than Zoe. Zoe did get four Arcanists, but we get fifth Sage. So we get some AP to make up for it. It's not like four Arcanists is particularly really good. We get 20 AP and that's kind of, uh, that's kind of the same thing. So we get some more Omnivamp. Hmm. We're losing out to Story Weaver. That, what is it, seven Story Weaver? Because we have three chapters, three scrolls. Aphelios seems kind of good. Yeah, Aphelios is good. E EU believes in Aphelios. You guys, remember you guys laughed at me that one time I went for Aphelios 3 and I said, I'm never listening to EU ever again. That was because I saw uh, EU likes to play Aphelios. There's also another faded comp you can play. Uh, you can play, you can play Ari and Yasuo. You can play Ari and Yasuo. Hey, Soraka two. Okay, we're checking in a Udir. Nihilus too. Hodge JG. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mythic. The dude's just playing nine mythic. <laughs> Every mythic units plus Azir and uh, one more units. Oh, oh my God, that's so close! Wow, wow, that Lilia was about to to end him. Top three, that's not bad. Rolling for a Udir two or a random Rakan shop. Close. Those Morgana for the the Wukong. 
Filios three, Ash three. He hasn't really moved his positioning much. Oh, oh, got him, got it in time, got him in time. What if what does Aphelios want? Uh, AD and people say Rage Blade, so you could theoretically slam Rage Blade into Ash or Aphelios or like Bard. That is a possibility, but I'm pretty sure that's all you really do. You could probably put Rage Blade on Aurelia as well. Rage Blade is okay. The problem is that it's not very flexible. Wow, we're just dead. And his opponent has like only uh Cybernetic Bulk 3. It's even, the the Sophilia's build didn't even do anything crazy. <clears throat> is red buff good? I think it's okay. I'd rather put red buff on Ash. I'd rather put red, red buff on Ash because it gives her that base attack speed so that she could attack faster and cast faster. You think they'll nerf Diana? Uh, they nerfed her already repeatedly. I don't want Diana to be bad and unplayable. I, I, I like Diana where she is right now. She's a splashable frontline unit. If EU likes Aphelios, doesn't that mean he's bad? CN likes Aphelios as well. You know, I think EU's problem isn't... Uh, I'm, I, I'm thinking that EU's problem isn't really that big uh, in terms of like mistakes or meta read, although you can argue that they do struggle with both sometimes. I think e EMEA just has too big of an ego. They need to humble themselves. I was watching the podcast today. I don't know if you guys know, but today there was a Don't Talk If You Don't Know uh, EMEA finale for set 10. And just listening to EMEA players talk about uh, like how none of them think that study groups are valuable and that they can't learn anything from any other players. It was just like, damn, man. <laughs> you guys have such massive egos. Do you know why EMEA doesn't improve? Is because no everyone just decisively thinks that they have nothing to learn from other players. They like uh they all just sit there, they were staying there on call just being like, yeah, I don't see the value of VOD reviewing because like I don't think I could learn anything from anybody. It was like, what? It, it, it was insane to me. I, I was like, what the heck are you guys talking about? You can't learn like you want to learn TFT by yourself? Like, yeah, I could just stare at stats. And I'm like, well, that's learning with some other person. Staring at stats is learning with other people. Okay, Zoe 3. Zoe 3 Story Weavers. Aphelios 3. Looks like Zoe 3 Story Weavers wins. He took Shred. He took Green, Red, Green. Green, Red, Green. No combat augments. Pandora's and Lucky Gloves. Only two pairs of gloves. Interesting. The thing I'll miss most about set 10 is the music. Me too. Me too. I, I honestly, set 11 music is not cutting it for me. There's a lot of fun things about encounters. But set 11 music is uh, it's a step down. But I mean, like, how could it even be even a sidestep or a step above? There's just no way. It has to be a step down. How do study groups work? It's different for each. It's different for each group of people. But essentially, study groups are just like other good players that you talk to about the game and teach each other what to do. So, like for example, Soju and Precedent and Milk and Kiyun are all in a group together, and they all share each other what they think the tech is. And Sezuko, excuse me, and they all think they all help share each other what the tech is. They sit and call and they play with each other, and then they also. Uh, they're also willing to VOD review each other, but it's a little bit less. Oh my God. Oh, Aphelios wins that? What the heck? Oh, they said there's a bug. There's a bug. Someone said uh, there's, there's a there's a bug. I'm also talking about Malphite. Actually, he's, is the screenshot covers... Uh, the screenshot covers a little bit of the the, the third place. So I'm going to screenshot again. Okay, so not only does CN believe or EU believe in Aphelios, the CN does as well. Boom. 
I'll post this in our Discord. All right, stream notes. CN or P CN set 11 PB in houses. And we get to skip ahead. We get to skip ahead. Wait a second. That's not what happened at all. <laughs> uh, the cap. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. It's the it's, it's the wrong message. <laughs> Silas three. That's not what happened at all. Is the quality always this bad? Oh, I, I could try 1080p, but the problem with 1080p is that sometimes uh, it, it buffers too much and it doesn't work. Like I, I, I have it at 1080p sometimes and it doesn't actually look that much better. Is this better? Okay, which one is this? This looks like a uh, like loot subscription maybe. Any, any Mandarin speakers? It looks better. Okay. EMEA going full ego after this world is kind of funny. I mean, it's it's like they just think they can't learn from each other, right? So like T Lies and Re Replay and D Pay and Ripple, what they do is they mainly VOD review. They don't really like sit and call and and kind of lab it out together. They just sit. They just they say, hey, we're gonna VOD review. We're gonna you know, do all this stuff. Same thing with Weijin and Malala and all of them. But in EMEA, they're just like, yeah, like, I don't see the purpose of doing that. I don't think they could teach me anything. It's more efficient to just look my, at the, the stats myself for tools, or I go watch and come to my own conclusions. So, yeah. I personally think like, look, listen, more power to them. If they can find a way to succeed without that, I see that. But Sal Salvi was in chat saying I is I have yet to see a study group truly pop off as a group instead of individuals from one group. And I, to that, I was like, ah, that's kind of like, can't you say that like Malala and Weijin did or like, I don't know. Uh, Soju went to world set seven. Setsuko went to set, world set eight. Kiyun almost went to world set, set 10. Soju also almost went to world set nine. Any crazy CN tech? Well, so far we saw Zoe Story Weavers and Aphelios reroll top three or top four. Actually, I could probably just write that write that down. So CN CN PB in houses. I'll say top four. Game one top four was uh, first was seven Story Weaver Zoe carry. Second was Aphelios uh, reroll. Third was uh, Syndra faded, and fourth was uh, seven mythic Lilia. So if you guys are looking for results, I'll just keep tabs on what happened here instead of actually um, instead of actually screenshotting because the screenshot doesn't work. Because this screenshot is just wrong. This was not what happened last game. In fact, not only was it wrong on the, the units, but 60 second did not go second. Sorry, I missed his augment. What did he, what did he get? Okay, so he picked, uh, he picked what? A cut above. Okay, and it's loose subscription. Hey, I got it right. I actually, uh, oh, my, my Mandarin's getting a little bit better. Some people don't work well in groups, and I think it's more efficient to do on their own. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that works. That works. That, that I understand it, but surely it's not everybody. You know what I mean? Like, some people work better in groups, but if it's like literally nobody wants to work in a group because everyone ends up working better separately, it's like, really? None of you could improve <laughs> by working together. 
Uh, that, that part I have a hard time buying. Okay, Deathblade. Okay, what are, what are you guys thinking? Deathblade, Sword, Rod, Glove, Vest. What do you guys think he's playing? What would you angle here? My guess is Ash. Ash, Aphelios reroll. I can see that. I can see that. So it's a Yorick. A Yorick encounter. What does Yorick do? Reduces the cost of your reroll shop by one for the next three rounds. Okay. I'm going to say trick shots. I, I think a lot of people don't like playing Kaisa for the most part. Yone with Eon. I can see that. I can see that. You guys like saying Eon or Edge? People say Eon and I'm like, I kind of like, kind of like Edge. GA. All right. All right. All right. You guys are cool. You guys are hipsters. You guys are so cool. I still call it Twitter. No one calls it X. Okay, I mean, that's that part's true. I still call it Guardian Angel. Riven 2. I mean, he, he win lost, so... Also, not that it really matters, but if he could just, like, move some of this text on the screen covering his match history bar, that'd be great. I say E O N. Okay, that's uh that's a little excessive. E O N is the same amount of syllables as Edge of Night. You might as well just say Edge of Night. E O N is the same amount of syllables. So you're not even you're not even being efficient. You're just <laughs> you're, you're just shortening it and not even. Hovering over if he wants to slam. I guess edge could be misconstrued like infinity edge edge of night infinity edge oh my god a duplicator oh okay this <laughs> this carousel is some shenanigans nico giving a nico god oh lord and she's just there <laughs> dancing oh my god it's too much man the champion dupe you're not wrong you're not wrong it's technically called champion dupe for sure okay darius oh is it duelists not really it doesn't look like a duelist setup. oh it, it looks like it might be yone all right, who called Yone? Who called Yone? I mean, he could, he could be using this to hold temporarily, but he does have an Edge of Night. The problem is he took a glove, right? So he has two gloves now. That's kind of weird. Maybe he just goes IE instead. Okay. It doesn't look like it. I think he's. I think this glove is Last Whisper. I think it's funny how all the streamers use dupe and Nico interchangeably. I mean, name, name a group of prominent gamers on Twitch that are as sloppy with their language as TFT is in terms of using words to mean things. I'll wait. GTA roleplay. Okay, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Name another group. Name two groups. <laughs> You're not wrong. Name two groups. <laughs> uh. Also, I feel like GTA roleplay is so big now. It's kind of... It's hard to just say... Like, there. This is this is the traditional stereotype. There's all kinds of people who do it now. I don't know.
All right, sword and uh, if any, it's driven too, carrying. The FGC, ah, the FGC is not, no, they, they, it's just more like they have like a, they have like a bunch of like colloquialisms, right? Hey, hey, yo, this, this death blade and uh, infinity edge is OD. It's OD. You know, that's what they say. Just they, they, that's what, that's how they talk. They, they say the same things, but they're, it's just, um, it's just the way they have verbiage around it. But they're generally pretty effective at communicating. The TFT scene is just like, they usually say one thing and they mean something else. We have Hodge. When I, when I listen to TFT streamers, they always say, I think this is X. Okay, not X, but you know what I mean. And it's like, they mean, they mean almost the exact opposite of X. So they'll say like, okay, I think that this is, 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 is terrible. Okay. It's actually like pretty good. I didn't mean terrible, but you know what I mean? It's like, no, I don't, man. You just literally said two different things. I think edge of night is just awful. It's just, it's terrible. It's so shit. And it's like, okay, actually it's, it's not even that bad. It's, it's, it's actually pretty good, but like, you know what I mean? It's like, what <clears throat> words mean things. If you had more Kha'Zix early with those items, would you go Kha'Zix 3? I think Kha'Zix 3 is falling out of the meta, especially after he got nerfed. I, uh, I'm i not going to... I'm not trying to reroll Kha'Zix anymore. My tier list has changed. Uh, the tier list that we did like four days ago now, I, I wouldn't... Uh, that's that's a different... It's a different tier list now. I mean, hence, that's what PBE is, right? It's, it, was, it was a fun exercise to do just for shits and giggles. Milk is the best TFT communicator by far. Sure. Good one. Good one. Best community TFT communicator by far. Mm -hmm. Is that why literally two people on the planet understand him? Isn't isn't good communication skills often predicated on the fact that the a person on the other side is able to interpret your meaning? <laughs> oh, he is going Yone. Whoa, are you going Umbral? Oh, wow. I did not expect this. I was kind of thinking he's going to take something more generic. Maybe he's just going to go six umbral. Boxbox is the only TFT streamer I can understand. I mean, Boxbox is not very. He's not like soju pilled, you know, he's not like uh, talking. He's, he's not Setsuko pilled. He's, he doesn't actually talk like TFT accent. He has his own little, little quirks. I'm excited for the boot camp. I hope Boxbox is excited for the boot camp. I hope he doesn't feel like it's an obligation at this point. Because I think the the boot camp started off as something. Oh, nice and golden. I feel like the boot camp started off as something as a really cool thing, but I can tell that like. With, a, with each passing edition previously, people were getting on his case. How? Nah, you didn't invite this streamer. And they were so deserving. And you invited this person who, like, doesn't deserve to be... Oh, wow, Silas. Who doesn't deserve to be in it. And then I just kind of felt bad because he was like, I, I'm just doing this for fun. And, like, I'm so... He's a really busy guy. And so he decided to... He, he's also a streamer, so he procrastinated. Okay, this is kind of on him. He's a streamer, so he procrastinated picking people until like two days before. So he did it all in like 36 hours and stayed up all night. And instead, and then he just gets torched online for like not inviting like some small streamers uh, community or that that person and their community to participate. So I hope, uh, you know, sometimes you just hope that you're that the person that you appreciate knows they're appreciated, if that makes sense. Yeah, we have six umbral, but we just don't have the unit slot because we're playing Riven 2 with three items. Wow. Silas won. So the spark isn't for the Yone, but Silas does magic damage, so he's just putting spark on him. He also could have slammed Crown Guard, but then he'd be playing around Rod. And he probably wants to... I think Sunfire is probably better than Morello because you don't really have a good Morello applier. I guess you could put it on uh, a Loon. Is Sai still bugged? What, 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 which bug? 
Is Box Box getting shit for leaving people out of back? Yeah, all the time. All the time. Oh, you're right, Wolfie. You'll be playing around Cloak. You're right. My bad. What would what, what we play around Cloak with three items already done? Oh, Even Shroud, maybe? I mean, Even Shroud's kind of weird for Yone because he ends up. He ends up dashing away from whoever is holding the even shroud so you're like am i using this even shroud to get past the frontline unit that yoni is going to dash away from anyway so like even shroud for yoni is kind of weird oh he's going for he's going for nine umbral woke okay i can see that i can see that man i'm getting more dogged again appreciate what you're doing for the community keep up the strong work a buck nuts what a great name thank you for the two months as you guys may know i love two months resubs one of my faves i will i'll keep it i'll keep it up strong i uh i have some ideas cooking for the community i have some ideas cooking also tomorrow tomorrow bryce wants to do a podcast episode don't Man, talk if you i'm don't getting know. more dogged again Mr. Cheeler, thank you for the prime. Bryce wants to do a podcast tomorrow on the news for the TFT esports thing. He wants to do a podcast episode, so we might we might set that up. We might set this up. He Bryce wants to go on like a like a rant about TFT the the, the TFT esports news. I I told them I told them one i i would i think it would be valuable to have that conversation but two like I, it's it's kind of short notice and i don't know if we can get a lot of guests so we're asking around i don't know if we're gonna be able to get guests a whole episode for that yeah i mean it'd be a short episode i don't know i i, I he, he wants to do an episode i have to figure out if i can do some do do something uh or fit it in with my schedule because the thing about it is doing the podcast episode is uh is kind of a like a whole production in a sense like i have to set up the the podcast thing i have to grab the assets do the runner show and like input everything because i do it myself and so man um, i'm getting more dogged again i mean no 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 flame no flame to him but it's like it's a lot easier for him to just be like yeah let's do the episode i'd be like well i i have to do everything <laughs> uh. Jess, thank you for the prime. Can't he just rant on your stream? I mean, it sounds like you guys aren't that enthusiastic about it. I mean, the, what I think we can do is we can just cover it for the next episode that we do. That's what I, I, I think it's worth doing. Also, we did ask Michael Sherman if he wanted to come on to the podcast, and he's the head of TFT Esports, and I think that's more interesting. We can interview him. We can interview Michael Sherman and talk about it, but we'll see. I'm not on Twitch much, but this time I remembered to give you the prime. Thank you, Jester. That means a lot. I'm happy to host your prime. Okay, we have Ash. Is, would, would Ash Umbral Emblem be really good? The execution bonus on Ash? That doesn't sound bad at all, if you think about it. Although I wonder if that makes her ability weird, because then she like shoots an arrow, one of the arrows executed, so then arrows are wasted. Maybe, maybe not. Umbral Irelia. Oh, I like that. I like that. And she's a duelist. And you get armor shred. I love it. Ash 2, do you make Yes, absolutely. Do I want Riven 2 with these items or do I want Ash 2? I want Ash 2. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. The problem is hitting Irelia. For you, maybe. Tomato Farmer 23. Thank you for tier one as well. I'm out of the loop. What's happening in esports right now? Uh, basically, TFT Esports had the biggest news drop they've ever had. They're restructuring the entire ecosystem. They're rebranding everything. They're, give, they're redistributing the number of slots for worlds. It's not even worlds anymore. It's called crowns. Like a tactician's crown and they're trying to move the concept of tft away from worlds because it happens three times a year 
and they're trying to move it into like a major system kind of like uh kind of like golf or tennis which i think makes sense so instead of like winning like one of three worlds every year which is kind of weird colloquially around gaming and esports you win like a, a major or a crown and also they're upping the amount of prize pool and they're cutting the main broadcast which is another big piece of news they're they're effectively they're gonna reinvest more into the idea of co-streaming which is i guess great for me but it kind of sucked for a lot of my friends yesterday because a lot of my colleagues kind of effectively lost their tft casting gig which is something that is never like deserved right and says that like you you you're you entitled rather you're not entitled to have it just because you've done it for a long time but it's the is really really sad and i think what made me a little bit extra sad was um i appreciate the w glaze trust me i do i uh, i but i also feel like some people were being uh overly harsh not 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 without merit but they're being kind of overly harsh about it a lot some people were like good because they sucked and it's like okay i mean you don't have to like like come on man like you don't have to say it like that man i'm getting more dogged again oh 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 wow yeah see riven's fallen off would if you asked me would i play an ash 2 or riven i, I would play ash 2. oh he's going kane umbral kane only a nexus thank you for the prime as well when is the john riot park probably next week probably next week let me let me message bryce let me message bryce i, I was saying like hey Hey, did a quick heat check. I think we can just do a stream episode and fit it all then. And that makes things easier for me as well, since this is a huge spike in busyness for me. Okay. <clears throat> if I'm subbed, I get access to all that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And also, you can watch my VODs for free as well on uh, YouTube if you'd like as well. But thank you for supporting the channel, man means a lot everyone's been so nice the the sub the sub money goes to a good place I promise you I just bought all of this stuff I don't know if you guys care but I bought immense amount of gaff tape and a bunch of extension cables for uh my microphones because the thing is uh a lot of the headsets that I bought aren't made for a long a, a big amount of distance between the sound mixer and uh where the headset is right most of the time you sit the headset and it's, it's right here it's perfectly good distance but halfway across the room doesn't work and so a lot of the a lot of the casters who are here at the co-stream you have to lean forward for like the entire day and had no back support and bryce's back is like not very good he, he actually has a back problem and so I felt bad. I was like, okay, I'll sit there the entire time. So if you notice where I sit for the co streams, always because I'm on the edge of the couch and I'm never like, I don't have good backs. Now we can finally lean back and, uh, and enjoy the distance of having extension cables. And that extension cable, uh, one of them costs $50. So that was $200 I just showed you, which sounds ridiculous. Cause, uh, you'd be like, well, you could probably buy cheaper cables, but when it comes to cables and stuff like that you often get what you pay for so we we, we bought a good one okay it is umbral kane by the way this umbral kane is just soloing the Aphelios in the back oh zoides thank you so much 500 500 bits i was gonna say 500 subs 500 bits that's really generous if you guys are looking for a volunteer Man, PA, I'm more dogged again. we should chat. Oh, I actually, uh, I actually did have someone hit me up, but if that falls through an intermittent, send me a DM. We got Dragon Lord Malphite. We're we rolling Yone. Yeah, we're rolling for Yone and we're trying to go for uh, Kane as well. I, I, I told you guys before the stream started today that I think Yone is actually quite good. And so I expect to see more Yone reroll. This is an example of that.
gaff tape is not cheap no it's not the gaff tape the gaff tape was like 40 dollars the zip ties were like six seven dollars it was, it was basically about 250 bucks spent the next upgrade is probably to upgrade a fourth headset unfortunately uh the one of the headsets I bought I bought the wrong kind of headset uh I'm not I'm not like a, a very high level audio guy so um I accidentally bought I forgot what it's called it was like a carded carded dad or something like that a uh, microphone basically it's a microphone that is more ambient it captures more of the ambient sounds around you as opposed to the directional mic that you want and that was the only one that was left in stock that I could get in time before set nine regionals when I had uh three people so I I actually rushed order it because I needed to get a microphone because one of them wasn't working and I bought the wrong kind so that that's on me but I did so that that's I have to actually upgrade it I have to upgrade them okay so he wants to go for another umbral emblem I think it's a glove oh another Yone seven way another Yone oh he missed reforge he missed well that sucks I'm down for oh he also got a bad item for uh for Kane he can't make another item so he makes another crown guard what does vest and spat make again not story weaver right Story weaver's cloak cardioid yes yes thank you I think I think I have that dude Yone 2 just decimate everything that's an Irelia too I just realized oh my god okay if this beat Irelia 2 Silas Morg 2 serious problem story weaver is chain oh oh okay okay then what's cloak oh it's heavenly ah right okay so rod is faded tear is mythic sword is ghostly bow is porcelain vest is story weaver cloak is heavenly uh and glove is umbral guy yone three Yone plus Morgana Kane. Six Umbral, Morgana Kane. Another Story Weaver Zoe game. This person went to nine though. He went he went Zoe Story Weaver fast nine. But he's also like pretty low HP. Wait a second. What? What is so strong about his board? Hold on. You just lost by like this guy hit Yone three and then you just lost by like six, six units. Hold on one second. Okay, so we have Rakan 1, Diana 2, Udir 1, Riven 2, Wukong, Janna 2, 1 star Soraka, 1 star Zoe. Yone's first ult fizzled. Let's see. Uh, oh, couldn't get to the back line. And then as a result, he wasn't killing the Zoe. I see. Well, oh my God. He like, he like dashed. Oh, geez. The fight also went terribly there because he didn't heal and, uh, off of killing the backline. He dashed again here, but then like dashed again, <laughs> man, what, what a terrible, uh, what a terrible fight. Here's set of all time. Probably set six. First time I played Augments. I kind of knew it was going to stick around forever. It was so good. Oh, it's Radiant Blessing. We never got the portal. My bad. I had the wrong one. Radiant Blessing. 
I thought it was loose description, but I, I, I got misled because, uh, the, the, the death blade came back. This is pretty big. Hitting Silas two. Yorick three. Pretty decent. So, uh, Aphelios three. Okay. So right now it looks like Yone is really good. Well, assuming he top fours this game, but it was looking good before that one fight that those past couple fights have not been looking good. This is against a ghost though. It's kind of hard to judge. Oh my God. Aphelios. Oh my God. Is EU, is EU a powerhouse? You just knew. Aphelios is good. <clears throat> Aphelios, Lilia, Story Weavers. All right. I'm Aphelios reroll. So here's the issue. Next Tuesday, I'm going to GDC and then the set launches on Wednesday. So uh, I'll be flying back literally as set 11 is starting and then I'll be back grinding all day. Also, you guys should uh, you guys should sign up under my team for Box Box Bootcamp. Sign up under Team Frodan. I give prizes to people who sign up under me and perform well. And if you, even if you don't perform well, you, just, you get entered into a random drawing for prizes. Diana. Also, is anybody here going to GDC? I'm bad. You don't want me. No, no. I just, I, I, it's more of a community thing. I'm not signing. I don't want people to sign up to me to win. I want p people to sign up. Because they know that they're uh, they're joining the, the the right team, that makes sense. And you, ne you never know, man. Our team might win. Wait, everyone has a attack round. Uh, what's GDC? It's it's like a it's it's the game developers conference or convention. It's like TwitchCon for game developers. I think we all didn't believe in Fizz because Faded was bugged and maybe now to fix it was good. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that being a good thing or a big reason why it's good now. Wow, someone has triple Titans Udir. He wants four Reapers are worth putting two dead units. I don't think so, personally. Four Reaper is good, but usually you don't want to try to play four Reaper with Yone unless you get a, a Reaper emblem. It's just too hard to fit in four Reaper without feeling like you're losing major amount of quality on your board. Okay, Yone. No, he dashed away in the Filios cast. No, he dashed away again. Oh my God. Wait, that is so funny. The more Aphelios autos Yone, the more it forces him to dash away. That's actually hilarious. Oh my god. That is too funny. <laughs> you know if uh, Bellatro will be... The Bellatro dev will be at GC? I don't know, maybe. Okay, so we have Aphelios... Uh, Story Weaver, Fast Nine. We have Yone. Who else is in the top four? Steve from Team Liquid would be there. That's cool. I'll hit him up. Oh, there's two Aphelios players. Okay, okay. Looks like you wanted to swap and didn't get it in time.
This is like Morgana Irelia. Oh, it's Morgana Silas. It's Morgana Silas. Man, this is the fourth? Oh, he's barely alive. He's barely alive. Felius also lost. He's checking to see if he needs to reposition his, uh, like, what was the unit to prioritize how his fight's going down. So, Story Weaver, Sage. Fast 9. Went to Fast 10. I think he loses this fight, though. Best friends, combat casters, Fast 9 into Udyr 2 into level 10. Although, it's like, his opponent's, like, playing, like, like one star morgue one star uh actually never mind it's not a lot of one stars what i'm trying to say is i can see i can see a potential way that he loses in terms of like this board quality is not high enough there's no way udir loses this right dude udir 2 is unstoppable sometimes it's a fourth you know a fourth is yone third is morg silas aphelios is second and story we story weaver stage fast nine is first interesting It's still wild to me that the game was just one guy. I think it sold 250 copies in one day. Bellatro, good for him. Good for him. It's a very fun game. I've, I've played it. It's actually really sad that Bellatro is actually categorized as gambling by some people. Because it has like poker hands. So I feel some people are like, oh, it's teaching people how to gamble. And there's like random elements in it. <clears throat> it's actually just very depressing. It feels very like as if it's like the Puritan movement in gaming. No, no gamba. And no, no, no playing cards that looks and resembles anything like gamba. This is the bugged uh, score report. It's like the people that like, you know, it's, it's the equivalent, it's the gamer equivalent of them wanting to cover up their ankles. They just don't really even understand it. Like their their brains are not even under, are able to comprehend why it's not it's not considered gambling. They just won't even consider it. It's just they're they're so extreme about it. It has randomness. Now, anyways, back to my meat sports where I can fantasy draft and duel against Charles Barkley and Skip Bayless. That's A-OK. -okay. Remember, family first. Asinine. This TFT game is teaching people how to gamble. Yeah, sure, I guess. TFT is, uh, is a little bit kind of like a slot machine. You're not wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and skip ahead. You can play Pokemon TCG IRL. People ask you if it's gambling. I mean, listen, if there's a card game that feels like gambling sometimes, how could it not be in terms of a TCG? How could it not be Pokemon? You literally flip a coin to see if your ability works or not. That's like half the mechanics in the game that you in, in half the mechanics in Pokemon. You literally flip a coin. And if it doesn't, if it's tails, it doesn't work. <laughs> if that's not what this, the coin flipping and gambling, I don't know what is, man. I don't know what is. <laughs> Outrageous to me. Yeah, what's the portal? Is it Tack Crown? 
Do you have a favorite NBA team? Yeah, I like the the Brooklyn Nets. Sadly, I usually like like having good teams to cheer for, but the but unfortunately, very sadly, I am a Brooklyn Nets fan. Thank you. Can you bring me a? Thank you so much. Oh seven to Ben Simmons. Yes. My wife made me spicy momofuku noodles. Look at that. It's amazing. So I said, why don't you just do like a like a HelloFresh Factor sponsorship? You eat on stream all the time. Like, you're not wrong. I should just I should just do it. Yeah, I do. Mikhail Bridges is not a first option. Trust me, I, I know. It could be worse. My wife is a Denver Broncos fan. They literally paid Russell Wilson to just go away. They couldn't even have him sit on the bench. They weren't even just like, you know what? If if, if you get it together, like maybe, maybe you can play again. They're just like, no, just leave us alone. <laughs> Might be dumb to ask for POV 60 seconds. It's the name of the player is 60 seconds. He got... Uh, he, he got top 10 in, at Worlds last set. Very strong player. Okay, we got a spatula opening, and it is prismatic. Wow. Yeah, and he's on my Steelers. Tell her thanks. <laughs> no problem. I mean, I'm from Seattle, right? So, Seattle has, like, a bitter, like, Jilted X type of feel and vibe with uh, with Russell Wilson. But like, I think Seattle's coming around on it. They said the... What, what do you want here? Shopping spree, probably. Isn't shopping spree still kind of busted? Yeah. Shopping spree is so good because of the econ you get. But when Russell Wilson got, uh, got dismissed from the Broncos and they're just like, yeah, fuck it. We're just going to eat the 80 million plus dollars. Like one of the worst dead contracts ever in NFL history. Seattle fans legitimately were like, you know what? The Seahawks have the chance to do the funniest thing right now. Because imagine if uh, Russell Wilson came back to Seattle and, uh, and then just tore it up again. How funny would that be? That'd be the fleecing of the century. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yeah. Rip Broncos. Shopping Street was so good, especially before they reverted the leveling discounts. Well, yeah, but also you have to remember... <clears throat> you have to remember that Shopping Spree is really good because you get, like, a drip economy every single turn. And economy in general is still a little bit harder to come by. And you have to remember that your gold is worth less. Because last set in set 10, Remix Rumble... Your gold was going a longer way because you could find headliners in your shop. And so your, your three gold could immediately turn into a two-star one cost. Your 12 gold could immediately turn into a four cost uh, two-star unit. So you, when, you, when you rolled, your rolling was so efficient that your gold was able to turn immediately into power. But now you have to roll so much more in order to two-star four cost now. On average, either you're high rolling or you have to roll a lot more to hit those units. And so, uh, so, so money is, is pretty, is pretty powerful right now, or at least it's better than you might think it is. If you're coming off of set 10, don't forget that. All right. What are we playing with the, the spatula opening? We got a spatula opening portal. He's putting in story weavers. Oh, he wants to go uh, vertical story weaver and play around. What is the Corey's playing around? Play around Janna. <clears throat> He's playing Arcanist, Sage, Dragon Lord, 
Riven, Riven, Zyra, Nico, Soraka, Zoe, Diana, and Janna, and then just like Fast Nine. Tori Weaver Sage was a, a a big like Fast Nine comp that we saw in the past couple games. We might see that again. Speaking of gambling, I saw on Twitter a video of a Boeing cargo plane landing on fire, and I put one on Boeing. I put one put on Boeing. It's up thirty three percent of the day. Easy as one hundred fifty dollars of my life. Nice job. Nice job. Unlucky for that one guy that uh, was a whistleblower, right? Oh my gosh, speaking of unlucky, that guy lost by like... He, he almost killed everything. They just He barely killed anything. <clears throat> really unlucky for the dude who whistleblowed against uh, Boeing and then was just found uh, mysteriously dead. Taking his own life. It's... <laughs> That news is so scary, man. It makes me feel like it makes me really respect whistleblowers. Assuming, assuming that there's more to it than wow, we just found the guy who happened to be dead. But yeah. Would you say the street changes made augments like shopping speed stronger? Yes, yes, a hundred percent. He went for tier. So he's going to roll on seven, right? Is he going to lose streak until three, five? What's his game plan? Roll on six a little bit. Stabilize and roll again at four, one. So is he rolling at three, two and four, one? Or is he going to roll at three, five? Shojin slam. Has leveling and tempo changed much since EXP reverts? Uh, not really. Not really. You're still you're still only supposed to go to level nine if you're uh, in a spot where you're really far ahead. It was easier to go to nine before, <clears throat> and they reverted that basically. Wandering trainer. Um. Uh, Azir, and it says three, two, and four, two. Let me see. Azir moves the three, two, and four, two augments to random rounds. Woo! All right, have fun. Have fun with that. <clears throat> You know, I don't mind encounters like this. I know this one's like kind of disruptive, but it's not that big of a deal. I do consider them a little bit on like the less exciting side. I think they're kind of boring, but it might be interesting. Like you never know. I guess the, be the better way to describe it is it doesn't sound inherently hype, but it can it can produce some interesting situations. It's like, huh, maybe I get my augments earlier and that changes the way the game flows. I'm I'm not looking for too many like, oh my God type moments in the game, but I think we could use a couple more encounters like that. Just like one, just one or two. How about an encounter? That just sells your board and bench and gives everyone blank slate. <laughs> just full for fun it. Just blank slate your board and then you just lose it. <laughs> it's probably a miserable experience. I think a lot of people will quit the game. They just they, they just feel like the game just trolls them straight up. <laughs> I'm actually down. I mean, you you would be down if you're like in the losing or even the middle position, but if you're winning, you'd be so pissed. Wait. Doesn't that kind of punish people who lose streak because they're trying to hold only a little bit of units? <clears throat> Don't give them ideas. Listen, I'm a TFT streamer. 
isn't the whole isn't half the reason we do this is to give unsolicited ideas that ride didn't ask for <clears throat> i'm pretty sure that's half the fun of streaming is to just give people or or companies or viewers or other streamers or industries or governments ideas and advice that they didn't ask for if not then what's the point what are we doing here And BT two mythic emblems. What's interesting about uh what's interesting about Spatial Star is seeing what China's starting to gravitate towards. We had two mythic emblems because they're trying to play around Lilia. I think we have one Yone player. This person's uncommitted, but they have the they have the ability to slam a bunch of different emblems. We got Bard game. It would be a good idea if you could have another option or get three gold. <laughs> Sell your entire bowl, your your entire board and your bench and get two times the gold value and eight free rerolls or get three gold. <laughs> <clears throat> That'd be funny. Encounters that swaps your board and items with two different people and get removers. Oh my god. That that is just straight up disruption. You purposely play a terrible board. Recombob there are, there actually are recombob encounters. I think Rakan is a recombob. Are people rerolling cog or just going for Lilia now. Uh, for Mythic, uh, they're playing Bard and Lilia a lot. Those are the two most common Mythic setups they have. The problem with Bard is you can't really play Contested. Because as you know, the bag sizes are still the same. So even if you're playing Bard and other people are just playing Mythic in general, you might get um, might get Contested. Like They might take three Bards out of the pool. It's just harder to hit. Oh, the Gojo. Do you think you're going to win or you're going to lose? Gojo Satoru. <clears throat> nah, I'd win. Ah. Has it worked? Yeah, yeah. Basically, um, you put the units on the board and you click recombine. Same thing. What are they building a bard? Usually Rage Blade, bonus damage, plus one. You can do like Rage Blade, uh, Giant Slayer, or Rage Blade Guard Breaker, stuff like that. Robin builds Death Blade on Bard. Robin's guy says Death Blade Bard. You could do that because he autos a lot. You can also go double rage blade, double rage blade bard. What do you think of the whole bag size discussion? I think I understand why Riot does it. I think it's less fun. I think a lot of people play TFT to play what they want and not like be forced to always do something differently. Like, but at the same time, I do understand it's for the health of the game. <clears throat> we survived an entire set playing this way and I feel like headliners revealed some really ugly things about TFT in the sense that like when you can't hit the gate like w w because you're contested and because of the way bag size interact with, it, with headliners it made it feel like when you didn't hit it because you were contested it felt so 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 bad that was like some of the lowest uh, feelings you could have playing TFT and I didn't like that they didn't address that, but I understand why they changed it because they feel like for the health of TFT, they don't want, they don't want bag sizes to, to encourage people to like force the same thing. <clears throat> balance, like in terms of the balance wise, right? Like part of the reason why they, they stopped that is because if there's 12 four costs in the pool, then you're going to have four people playing the OP four cost. They want people to feel like you can do other things and yeah.
So what are we playing with our spatula? We didn't even roll. This guy went to level seven, rolled like once. Is, is this guy like fast eight? He's not even playing fortune. What is he doing? This guy's cooking. 39 goal. He's holding everything. All right. What is set to do? Let's see. For the next three rounds set lends you some training dummies. Um. China's been taking green a lot. Oh, blue. Spice. Janna, Janna, Diana for Dragon Lord, Riven, Zyra, Zoe. Nico and Soraka for Altruist. This has been a core that they've been playing around a lot. Heavenly, Story Weaver, uh, Altruist, Dragon Lord Sage. This is Spartan Arcanist. Interesting. This is a this is a core we've been seeing China play around a lot. I would say that these seven units are probably going to be this is probably going to be something that's meta for sure. <clears throat> no, don't talk if you don't know tonight. Nope, not this week, not this week. We usually do it around tournaments. There's no there's no big tournaments right now. You might do one next week. We're we're asking if the head of TFT Esports at Riot is willing to come on our podcast. And he said yes, but he has to see if his scheduled um if his schedule allows it. So the next episode will probably have the head of TFT Esports from Riot. Okay, we got Story Weaver emblem. <clears throat> wow, big hits. Oh. Okay, what are we doing to Spat then? Oh, maybe he's trying to lose streak into Fawn. Which units? Uh, the seven units we see on the board. Literally all all these seven. <clears throat> what makes this comp so good? It's just, it's just like a well-rounded amount of stats and Zoe, Zoe got buffed, so she can actually carry now and you, you just get like a little bit of everything. You get utility, <clears throat> you get damage, you get frontline, it's cheap and it's high tempo. The, 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 the awkward thing is that I think this is high tempo, but, uh, he's playing it from 24 HP. I was more, more actually more talk about on stream. You mentioned they use the 3.5 site revivals as an experiment for the opposite of back size. Remember you said the experiments, what they explained that people had fun, but at what point to stop TFT being a draft game? And is that a good thing? Yeah, fair enough as well. That 3.5, if you don't know, they put the back sizes to like 50, like five zero. That means everyone can hit always. And it got boring after a while. Okay, so level eight, we play Annie. Morgana. <clears throat> Irelia. He's playing Sage, so Irelia doesn't fit the comp. Irelia is a duelist, AD champion. He's trying to play AP. Wow. 
set 10 was really fun for me i feel like every game i could do something better yeah i agree i think set 10 uh especially since uh you guys were talking about the early mid game i think set 10 was very good at what it was doing well and then but the problem is i think there's there's a pretty nasty side of headliners that i don't like which is like the way it interacted with bag size changes the way people were hitting three stars so fast the way it accelerated tempo the way some people would get rewarded for honestly just playing very sloppy in tft because it's like I, I really didn't like when people were like in a bad spot and then they would get to eight and then like they just said okay whatever it doesn't matter i'm gonna get to level eight and then just roll and take the unit out of the pool <clears throat> like three uh three copies of whatever four cost you're trying to play that part was like really frustrating for me for like a while uh and i didn't enjoy that And the hard part is this person's Kha'Zix rerolling, by the way. Kha'Zix and Malphite hasn't hit. The hard part about it, it, was, it wasn't anyone trying to grief you either. They were just like, dude, this Annie. <laughs> you guys see this Annie thing? This Annie animation? She just, <clears throat> this Annie, when she dies, she just literally falls on the ground. <laughs> <clears throat> That's how I hit GM. Yeah, no, listen, I'm not I'm not trying to disparage people who climb that way. I'm just saying like it, it, it when I when I experienced that, I felt it felt very negative to me. I didn't enjoy that at all. So we took out Janna and we played uh Rakan. We'd rather we'd rather focus on improving our front line than keeping Janna in, which makes sense. Janna's invoker. One thing I struggle a lot is knowing when more traits is more powerful than bending one trait comp. Does it just know which comps are better? No, you should often think about what your team actually wants. So, um, I'm trying to think about if I can make an analogy to another game, <clears throat> but the baseline explanation is in TFT, you have to think about what is your comp trying to do? What is your comp good at, right? So let's take a comp like Arcanists. Arcanists are very straightforward. You want ability power, which you get from your trait, and you want mana, so your Arcanist can cast more, and you want your front line to stall long enough so your Syndra can cast repeatedly and ramp up her butterfly, right? So if you have a trait that says gain 10 AD, do you want to play that? No. That doesn't really do anything for your win condition. <clears throat> now of course it gets more it gets way harder than that that's an easy example because the attack damage doesn't do anything in that spot a lot of times in these late game situations you have to think not only what is my team team trying to do but who is the star of my team right if the los angeles lakers are bringing in another player to make austin barnes look better or to make uh, D'Angelo Russell look better and not to support LeBron James. They kind of they they kind of misunderstood the assignment, right? So in a lot of ways, you have to think, is this actually helpful for my team? I see people like say like, okay, I'm gonna tech in a duelist. And it's like, okay, because I have Lee Sin, so I'll play like a like a like a Tristan in the back. <clears throat> it's like, okay, cool, but you basically only helped Lee Sin and Tristana. It didn't do anything else for your team unless Tristana was able to actually carry your team. Or if Tristana's ability was like really impactful and swung the fight. So a lot of times people get kind of wrapped up in this trait web. Like, oh man, I have like two duelists and I have like two heavenly and the heavenly doesn't even give relevant stats or I have like all this stuff. Think about whether or not it actually contributes to your team in a meaningful way. Okay, Porcelain Kaisa. Wow, that sounds weird. That help explain a little bit about uh the, the thing is you're, you're asking a broad question of when to do it so i have to give a broad answer i can't say like you should always be doing this and that under these circumstances
Does, J does, does JG? Does China have a separate PB? Yes, it does. JG, the CN special, heavenly. He's actually making the comeback. He's going to level nine. <clears throat> Has anyone been abusing one cost rerolls? One cost reroll does not look that good right now. Most people are playing two to three cost rerolls. This person is playing right now for Soraka and Zoe three. <laughs> what up, Tanner? Hey, Ch Tanner, type China in chat. Type China in chat. My my moderator added a new thing. <laughs> <clears throat> How far ahead do you normally look when you're building your board? Uh, it depends. Oh, no, you have to type lowercase China. Lowercase China. Not 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 a capital C. <clears throat> When you, when you, when you, when you type China, it comes out as a jewel gauntlet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just hit the Soraka three and Zoe three. <clears throat> I mean, this looks like a fifth and that's fine. He didn't look like he spiked hard enough on stage three. Oh God. Do we miss entirely oh 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 god oh god oh man the the soraka three skip into the zoe three oh man pb lag pb lag okay this amumu three is actually immortal Kaisa with porcelain emblem. Wait, I just realized everyone still has one augment because the next augment because the, they got an encounter that rearranged everyone's augments. They get their augments at five, four and uh, five, three and five, five. Everyone's still on one augment in stage five. That's so funny. <laughs> what? I never seen that before. And now everyone gets a second. Dude, he died before his second augment. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> Half the lobby died before their second augment. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Now that's funny, man. That's funny. <laughs> what up, Gabies? Thanks for coaching me a little bit. Of course, anytime. Hopefully next time will be even better. most impactful first augment ever yeah 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 this is uh this is hilarious because it's like it tests whether or not you're able to so the, the thing about encounters is that there's a little bit of hearthstone element to it which is a lot of nonsense happening there's, a, there's entirely a lot of clownery going on with encounters but are you able to adapt to like a wide range of unusual circumstances like augments moving or off leveling right a bunch of random moments where like you're supposed to level off curve and you have to figure out the timing of your, your tempo windows uh or if you get like thrown into an unusual situation in general that might be, for many players this is the first time they've ever played a game with augments where they have only one augment going to stage five how do you handle that situation and uh the skill in hearthstone was how you manage that kind of spots and play around it in TFT, I, I feel like there's going to be two kinds of players. There's going to be players that that straight up say, this is for fun. It's anti-competitive. It's not TFT. Like, like Riot is ruining the purity and sanctity of my, my auto battler. And then there's people who are going to embrace it and say, well, like, it really puts people on their toes. And yes, there's a lot of nonsense happening. Like, sometimes randomly, you just get six terrible rating items and someone gets, like, the, the best in slot possible and they destroy your wish streak and stuff like that happens for sure there's a lot of uh, variance that happens there's gonna be some people that embrace and lean into it and um it might even play into their skill set okay also cc second is not even watching the fight okay okay so top four is yone again yone 
Yone with Umbral on uh, Kane. Also, by the way, no Edge of Night. It's just Last Whisper BT Titans. <clears throat> uh, is this Invokers? No. It's just Silas. Sil Heavenly Tempo with Silas. Okay. Silas Wukong. Mythic. I'm sure I'm just trying to take notes of what's in top four. So Bard, Mythic, uh, Silas, Heaven or Heavenly, Silas, Yone reroll, Umbral Yone, and then Porcelain, Amumu, Kaisa. I'm just I'm taking notes of what's actually top four. <clears throat> so I feel like uh I feel like there's gonna be a large divide. I think a lot of players that want their give me my pure TFT. I don't want interference. I want maximum skill expression via bare bones minimalist. I'm a minimalist. And then there's gonna be like some people would be like, I love and I thrive Man, off I'm the game. Oh dude, thank you for the 16 months. My god. So people are going to be like, I thrive off the chaos. I don't mind it. Bring it on. Like Asa, Asa is a player that loves that. Asa, Asa told me that he loves these kinds of things. It's what makes TFT fun. He loves these exciting things. He feels like he feels intrigued by playing around each encounter. And he thinks it's really cool. And then you have like Bryce. Bryce, my co-host right on the podcast is like, stop interfering with my game. I want to just play TFT. I want to roll down with, with the normal expected range of things. And I want to be able to express my skill in that way. <clears throat> that sounds like Dissop asking for not buffing Fortune while everyone in my region considers it the worst entertainment trait. Yeah, yeah. I think Fortune is also uh, not that, not that fun right now. Not that hype. I agree. I think I think Fortune, I think Fortune could uh, use some love. You know what they should do? They should just have Fortune straight up open up a Mahjong table. You 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 have Fortune, and when you say push your luck, it just opens a Mahjong table and it, and it starts a new mini game where you have to play Mahjong, and then you mat you you mat you match, and then you get m more luck for your uh, <laughs> you you maximize your luck for your uh, for your Fortune cash out. <laughs> if you can hit Mahjong between now and when you and when you cash out, you you double your luck. Why not? Just, just have them play another game while they're playing Fortune. <laughs> uh. Normal range should be normal game should be chaos and rank should be balanced. I mean, yes and no. Here's the thing: set ten reached a pretty balanced state, but it got really stale. Like, because yes, hard steel was quote balanced by the risk and rewards, and rerolls were strong and everything like that. And yeah, this disco could have been a little bit better, things like that. But it was like, like it was pretty balanced. Set ten was very balanced at one point, and then it just became like, well, it's not not that not that fun, not that exciting. So balance isn't the only lever. And while we do want TFT to be a very rewarding game competitively, it needs to be fun above everything else. Game gameplay is king. Fun is king. <clears throat> I just joined to hear some deranged Chinese. No, no, I'm someone Tanner was saying how China thinks fortune is really bedge and dish soap was like saying like, don't buff it. Fortune's like already good enough. And I, I think, I think I uh, understand where dish coming from and I agree with him in principle, but also I do think that fortune is pretty bedge. And, uh, I do wish fortune was, I don't know. It, it was, it was something else. Okay. May, maybe not something else, but like, I wish it just had that oomph factor. I'm just missed. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't have that. Wow. It's not that. Wow. It's like when you mentioned challenger players are picking wandering trainer for a Yeah. That's actually another point too. Like different players want different things. Challenger players liked wandering trainer. They, they a lot more than casual players. I really hate the fact that you can be playing the game perfectly fine and just get randomly encountered or people are pushing tempo to punish the greedy guy and suddenly gets one extra HP or Tristana 1-1 happens and suddenly people have instant econ advantage over you because they got champion orbs one turn faster. Yes, 
uh but i think that's also part of the game like i think if you don't like the variance within tft uh then i think that you might be you might want a game that the tft is not i think tft embracing the variance within reason right i'm not asking for uh i'm not asking for utter shenanigans not like non-stop there's obviously boundaries and ranges but i'm saying that i think that tft in set 10 moved closer to chess I, i'm using atriox example because he did an entire video that i thought was really good atriox did like here's two spectrums there's there's chess no rng except for like who goes first or second you know and, and there's a little there's, there's this very minimal rng and then there's a straight up slot machine right and uh and you have games like 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 starcraft is like right here basically right next to chess and starcraft better player wins basically almost every time there's a little bit of randomness of like you know but for the most part that's like a really competitive game and then like here is tft it's like it's like two, it's like a few notches away from casino and it took in set 10 it took like one or two steps towards chess and the game suffered a lot for it and i thought that was a really interesting take because he said that like basically tft has to always make sure not to cross this boundary they found the limit of what they should be and set 10 should probably not should probably be the last time they ever made the game uh not as fun focused and much more like competitive focused oh my god there's yone three so I thought that was a really interesting video that he made and I think it actually resonated with me because I felt like set 10 was great for a lot of reasons music was awesome prediction level was great uh the theme was dope right all the land was great Malala won right it was very good for competitive players like there's a lot of skill to be expressed but I do think that set 10 was probably some of the least fun I've played in terms of TFD it's actually the lowest amount of games I think I've played uh, in a long time and I think that it doesn't I think it has to do with the fact that I think the fun factor of set 10 was not there for me as much as it was for other sets the, the straight up fun factor because after a while like even even the like what are the crazy combos you can play we're not in it because headliners stopped like emblems so you, like all the oh what if I got like you know these crazy emblem combinations that like you don't really get to usually see like that that was out of the game uh headliners were hardly were very much gating a lot of vertical trait power like there's a lot of different things that just made the game like not as interesting and fun <clears throat> and there's a lot of things i liked about set 10. i'm not saying that i don't like it. i'm saying like uh my enjoyment for set 10 was largely through the competitive lens of things and uh one thing about set 11 I'm discovering is that there's a lot of like I'm laughing more I'm having more like like what the hell is going on and I think that's a good thing now there's limits I don't want uh I don't want Kane to decide every game okay Kane's, Kane's not even RNG you know you know what's the crazy thing about encounters is that some of the stuff that people complain about are actually some of the least RNG encounters. Like Kane is guaranteed. People are like complaining about Kane deciding a championship or a, or a tournament, but Kane is the one of the least RNG encounters. You know exactly when it's coming, and you know exactly the order players are gonna die in. They're saying like like uh yeah sure maybe like the game itself feels higher because it's a shorter time, but I'm just I'm, I'm just trying I'm trying to I'm trying to provide some perspective. <clears throat> set 11 feels a lot more refreshing and fun to play most of the units have a certain factor to them and that makes them satisfying to play only thing I've encountered is I hated the Yorick seven unit encounter I don't think I've seen that one there's a, there's a lot of bad feelings sometimes you get a random encounter okay so um sometimes you get a random encounter and it feels like it punished you and it like like Milk talked about how he rolled down and then next turn Yorick made all the rerolls one gold instead of two. Maybe maybe you should play around encounters more that way. I don't know. Skill issue? Who knows? 
What is the exact order he executes? Uh, the lowest to highest hell. Set 10, Tencent actually called out a group of KOL influencers to give Riot feedback from casuals consecrated a few days before Vegas and Riot NA office. How, how, Tanner, how does, how, does, uh, how does China like set 11 so far? Outside of Fortune, outside of Fortune. Oh, sorry. This is... Uh, that was the end of game. That was the end of uh, that game. So, Okay, so the top four here was... Let me see here. So this was, I think Yone was top two. Actually, I think this is exactly it, right? Third. Fourth was Bard Mythic. Second was Umbral Yone. Mythic. Bard reroll. <clears throat> you can easily tell by PBQ. I, I can't though. Yeah, listen, some encounters probably need to get tweaked, but uh, I think encounters are a lot more funny slash fun. But yeah, so some encounters are total BS. I, I, no, no disagreement there. No disagreement there. Also, if you're a hate watcher, you should love set 11. Your favorite, your favorite target of who you hate watch. Every single stage of every single game, they're, they, they have an opportunity to get destroyed. Like no matter how, how things, how good things are going, that next encounter, they might just go eighth. So, yeah. <laughs> Wandering trainer. Wait, what? Do we see this already? Is this the same game? Oh, this might be the same game. Oh, the same thing. Wait, did he just play the same exact body? He just played the faded. Uh... Oh, he did. He did. Okay, so it actually is this then. Wait, we just TP'd into another game entirely. All right. Well, it's okay. We're going to snapshot our way. Just we're going to TP in and just look at Volibear 3 with Gargantuan Resolve. Wait a second. This guy has Gargantuan Resolve and Radiant Titans. Okay, so we got two components this round. <clears throat> In set 10, you can play around your headline. In set 11, you play around traits. Oh, you, you play around... Um, you play around the encounters for the most part, if you can. The thing is, I feel like most people don't know how to play around encounters right now, so... Contents on Douyin, C, and TikTok are not going up until it launches the live server. It's hard to tell whether it's good or not, but during early playtests, someone rated a 0 out of 10. Is that 11? A 0 out of 10? Oh my god. I mean, 0 out of 10 is pretty outrageous, isn't it? Like I as, mu as e even as worse a zero like come on. That's a little over the top, man. <clears throat> Isn't Titans vo uh, volley really good now that his heal skills off of AP? I, mean, I think so, yeah. And he's also kind of like the tanky units and the healing is good with the resistances. Oh, we found Irelia. Nice. 
That's just baby level of attention grabbing. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I mean, he is uh, he he is very vocal about it. But like, the thing is, I'm curious why he would rate that. Maybe he thinks fortune is not fun, so he just thinks like, if fortune is if fortune is like the worst trait ever made, it's a zero out of ten. It could be that his entire uh, it could it could be that his entire opinion is just based off of how good fortune is. Allowy three. Okay, Arcanists. Wait, this guy has Arcanist Crest, Mind Over Matter, Jewel Lotus 3. Oh my god, this Volibear does not die. What the heck is this Volibear? Dude. Oh my god. He's Warwick now? Yeah, I guess so. Legend Volibear. <clears throat> Why is China so obsessed with stuff like Hearthsteel and Fortuner? Are they miserable so they only get dopamine from that kind of... Wow, that's a... Uh... I, I feel like that's a pretty extreme conclusion. I think it's because a lot of people play this game to, to have fun. Is a big reason why and for them that is one of the reasons that they have fun like for a lot of people in uh in, in like other parts of the world they would think that fun for them is you know like tft is probably like a, a way for them to play a very deep strategy game and like execute roll downs very well blah 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 but like a lot of people don't care about that fun is a very subjective and cultural thing right like some people are taught that this is like a really fun thing to do and other people are like this is not that fun and you have different value systems. <clears throat> Switch viewership is not a good indicator, but it's the lowest I've seen for a new set. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really speak to that. I think we're in PBE and a lot of our biggest careers are not even streaming. Uh, also, I mean, it's, 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 but like, I could also say simultaneously, I, I personally am experiencing higher viewership than ever before. <laughs> uh, it, it, and I actually looked, I looked at my previous viewership from a year ago. My viewership was, um, I had like a hundred viewers a year ago, like 150 viewers. And I'm very thankful that like the people tuned in back then, but like, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is you can skew stats to tell a story of however you want to say. Oh, Rek'Sai 3. Rek'Sai 3, ki oh, Rek'Sai Kindred Twin Terror. Okay. Kind of woke. Kind of woke. Oh, wow. We got destroyed. Radiant GS. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, we have to be camp position like that. <clears throat> but yeah, like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take Twitch viewership very seriously right now. Like if anything, Twitch viewership is uh, one of the things that Riot should care about, like the least out of like what is an indicator of player health. Because uh, while while this is look, I'm I'm incentivized to care about Twitch viewership, but the reality is, is it, are people playing the game? Or are people spending money in the game? That's what are people logging into the game? Those are the three the things that you care about the most: your active users, your revenue, your player count, right? That kind of stuff. <clears throat> how long they're playing those are the things that riot should care about and then things like their viewership are secondary like it's a nice thing to for it to be good but like you're you guys are acting like if twitch viewership was like like in the hundreds let's say let's say let's say every twitch streamer now collectively gets two viewers three viewers each and now it's like the, like there's maybe 700 people watching t uh, tft on twitch but if Riot makes a billion dollars a year on TFT, would they would they actually stop making TFT? The answer is no.
So imagine this, there's a streamer that just plays woke stuff. Every game would be watching this kind of streamer. We call it for fun streamers and they have the biggest viewership in China. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, Tana, I'm trying to understand what you're trying to say. So you're saying, oh, you're not done saying. I personally believe the biggest streamers and content creators of a game will determine how the game is being viewed in the country region. My country has both competitive viewers are like 30% while four fun viewers are for 70%. Excuse viewers from streams and videos. Fair enough. Uh, pure for fun streamers in, uh, the West. It's probably, it's, it's probably the opposite. Competitive viewers are like 70% of the West in TFT and there's uh four fun viewers that make up or like pure four fun streamers that make up probably like 30%. <laughs> what we have that too. It's Soju. Like, yes, but Soju's still a competitive player, and like try to imagine Soju if competitive didn't exist. If, so, if competitive didn't exist, I'm pretty sure he would lose like a big portion of his of his content. If he was just playing, like I guess he would play it probably, but like he wouldn't be as driven. And we're spreading our board out now. I mean, this is honestly a really big bringing endorsement for uh for a gargantuan resolve on on Volo Bears. This has been really impressive. Anyways, thank you, Tanner, for sharing your POV. Okay, this Yone, this Dryad Yone. Dude. Dryad Kindred Rek'Sai with two Dryad Emblems. Okay, get two random... Comp oh, get Death Blade in the, in the Death Gap. What is comparable to Annie or Seraphine reroll in the new sets? Uh, Lux reroll, probably. You can just play Lux reroll. If you liked Annie, you can try Ari. Ari Yasuo. Ari is the one cost AP unit you can reroll. And reroll Yo uh, Yasuo and give him tank items. And if you want to play around uh, Seraphine like, you can play around uh, Lux. <clears throat> umbral makes it hard to position i think you can just give up part of your umbral oh wow oh my god oh Okay, here's the thing about it is that uh, in order to pull off woke stuff in TFT, though, you kind of either have to be really good or you have to play against really weak players. So I'm actually uh, curious where some of these players actually sit, because the thing is, you can play woke all you want and try to entertain for sure. But like... Um, I don't know. I guess I, I guess I kind of understand. I'm kind of, I maybe, maybe I just, I, maybe I'm not content brain enough. I don't know how woke you can get, I guess. Like he, if, if he rates it as zero out of 10, because the set isn't woke enough. I wonder what he thinks is woke. If it, if this is a zero out of 10. Would you even build on Yasuo? Yeah. Just, just tanky stuff. He, he actually um, benefits a lot off of just tanky items. Are there any use they can get four star? Not as far as I know. Okay, so he's going to give the buff to Irelia. Okay, he's trying to he's trying to get access to the Kindred as soon as possible. Bullet Bear's getting focused down and we're dead. Wow. He didn't even hit Yone 3. Kindred reroll. Okay. Okay. All right, let's watch one more game and then play some PB, shall we?
Watch one more game and then we'll play some PB. Garg oh yeah, Gargantua Yasuo is also really, really good too. Both are very good. I hit three star five cost on day one of PB with everything must go. So I wonder what he thinks is well. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really curious uh what this streamer thinks is woke Shh. there is another there is another phenomenon that might be happening it kind of depends on how you view things but i think in general players are getting better at tft so it's like people say woke Shh. They often describe as things that don't that actually sound bad but it's like but it also sounds kind of kind of cool but it's often considered bad and the better players get the more they punish that kind of stuff so if it's like hey i want to pull this off at masters it's going to be hard to pull it off at masters in set 11 than it is the hard to, to pull off stuff in set seven for masters which is hard to pull off stuff in like set four for masters so if you're like hey i used to be able to do this in like set five it's like well every, you know at diamond and get away with it it's like well like everyone was like worse at the game back then That Volibear was woke to me. Yeah, yeah, it's also relative. It's also relative. Yeah, off, off meta comps are another way you can describe it, but it's not just off meta comps. Sometimes you play a meta comp, but you just do it in a in a woke way. You have to like actually know what to do in that spot. A sword glove cloak. Oh, too healthy. Too healthy is really good. Has the meta consolidated for this set? Uh, has it consolidated? I don't think so. The meta is developing like kind of a lot. I, I, Consolidate is kind of uh, like you're kind of implying that everything is like the same. That's not that's not really the case. We're seeing we're seeing the meta shift actually like right now. Like yesterday was a lot of four costs. Today is around a lot of three cost reroll, and now we're also seeing other kinds of reroll succeed. Looks like it's gold subscription, something like that. Is it like gold subscription? Maximizing the hilarity factor is big for Woj cops. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I agree, I agree. You're agreeing that Michael Jordan played with plumbers and LeBron is the GOAT. I mean, I, I actually think that LeBron has a very good case for the GOAT, but I think that, uh, I, I, I mean, I think I have to wait to see if he's done, when he's done, <laughs> if he's done uh man i mean if he play if lebron plays till he's 60 and and keeps generating these numbers and obviously he is but um i think right now when you're gonna look back at some of the, the stats about lebron out literally the only thing i feel like mj has on him is six finals appearances and six and six rings and six mvps But like you start looking at LeBron's records and you're like, dude, no one's breaking this stuff. It's giving me like Wayne Gretzky type of thing where I just look at it. Okay, Wayne Gretzky is on a different stratosphere. Like this dude's records in hockey are actually absurd. Uh, but like I'm start I'm I'm saying I'm getting like I'm getting like similar-ish vibes where I'm just looking at it, I'm just like, dude, ain't nobody gonna break this record. And then, but then again, the NBA is having so much point inflation. Like you look at this box score, it's like 150 to 157. You're like, okay, like maybe somebody catches it. So yeah. 
So what are we doing? We're playing uh duelist with uh unified here. Oh, we leveled the five. Oh wow, that's pretty aggressive. What does Dryad do? It's an infinitely scaling trait where the when you kill an enemy, you permanently get a little bit of HP. And you get some base AP as well. Whoa. The three point inflation is going to wreck at least three of LeBron's records, unfortunately. Which ones? Which ones? He's thinking about he wants to buy Nico here for the Heavenly. Heavenly is kind of a big part of uh, a lot of the core of what you're trying to play around in the early game because it just gives you so much flexibility of stats and how it branches to other traits. What if Malala played baseball? What happens? Well, I don't think he'd be the world champ for very long if he decided to play baseball. Unless he joined the Los Angeles Dodgers. Because apparently they just will buy any player. For anyone may ask, what are some of your thoughts on the new competitive format? I actually recorded a video about it uh, yesterday, so you can just wait for that video. It should be, it should come out in like a, like tomorrow or something like that. Actually, let me see if uh, it's almost ready. I think it is ready. Ba basically, I have uh, I have like a video series for people like to, to upload. It's called uh, I'll show you. It's Rodan's thoughts on the biggest TFT esports news drop ever, and this is the thumbnail. So. <clears throat> oh, it's ready up. Oh, okay, okay. My, if, if it's ready up, let me see. youtubecom slash at Rodan two. uh let me actually i kind of want to oh this is frodan vods i see let me i gotta switch i gotta switch to it but basically it just got released yes um my thoughts on the biggest tft tft esports news drop ever okay so uh it's this video here but it's one hour of me reading it you can link it if you want but... okay, i'll link it to you it's an hour long bro tldr i literally read the announcement for you and break it down Anyways, it's just fun content. It's not supposed to be like super highlight oriented, but like the whole reason that I make these videos is because I want that channel to not just be highlights, but me giving thoughts on what I think is uh, like, like, like thoughts on the TFT scene because like no one else really talks about it. You have a one minute TLDR. Uh, yeah, my one minute TLDR is go watch the video. Boom. You learned. <clears throat> Can you condense into a 30 second TikTok? I mean, why do I have to? It's going to get banned anyways. TikTok getting banned in the in the USA. Which means maybe I don't have to worry about trying to upload everything in TikTok format. 
Do we got BT on Volibear? Can you speak in NBA terms? Yeah, basically, Adam Silver decided that uh, he wanted to redo the Eastern and Western Conference completely and change the way playoffs work. And and uh, decided to decided to let's see who 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 are, who are the worst performing I actually don't even know but basically like like give Europe half the bracket of uh, the NBA playoffs that's kind of how it, that's kind of how it worked and just said like we lost too many like yeah like we, we want uh we want equal representation of the basketball players so we're gonna give hat we're gonna give uh one to eight seeds of players in the nba and we'll give one to eight seeds to people from europe boom three two prismatic He's playing interesting to know that he's playing unified, but he's not playing around. Um, he's not playing around it totally. He just has unified on the front row for Umbral. <laughs> he really loves Volibear. Yeah. And remember that these guys are playing for uh, a lot of times when people play in houses, they play for money. So they're trying to like they're trying to sweat. A ton of Yone. And now that money, yeah, people put stuff on the line. I actually think TFT would be beneficial if people are willing to put money on the line. Like they would to they were to compete by trying to put like uh like basically if you top four you get your money back if you top two you win money for the players that are competing. Not necessarily like people playing ranked. I meant more like the streamers. The streamers like complain that there's nothing to play for sometimes. And it's like you you could you could put your put up your own money. <laughs> I'm not talking about us. I'm not talking about the TFT players and viewers gambling. I'm saying like let's say if Soju and Milk and Setsuko and Dish Soap and Kurum and all of them were like, I'm bored, there's nothing to do. It's like Bet subs or something. What about programs where you can bet on games when playing in them, like game battles in Call of Duty? Oh man. I don't want to, I don't know about wagering on matches, like sports betting on TFT. I, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure Chris, that's a terrible idea. Also, I'm not really down to copy much from Call of Duty right now, at least. I guess you're talking about like back in the day. He's itemizing Volibear one instead of Yone two, but he, he hit Volibear before Yone. Like, if you item if you choose what to itemize Volibear one or Yone one, you choose Volibear one, and then he hit Yone two. One's going Kha'Zix reroll. All four costs. Went for Silas. Silas, Lilia. He doesn't play around Ash very often. It's kind of interesting. All right, now we got Sunfire, an anti heal. Now we can. He's still not getting unified value on half his board. I, I do think that's kind of funny.
Bro, his front line's gonna be kin his front his front line tank is a is a Kha'Zix one. No, 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 no. There's no way. There's no way. And what, what, what even is this board? What wait, he's putting even shot on Kindred. Kindred tends to dash away. Man, this guy is too woke. This guy is way too woke. Oh, man. There's no way we don't win worlds again. <laughs> uh, it's, it's called tactician's crowns, it's not worlds. <clears throat> Azir. What does Azir do? Let me see. Azir grants free six free rerolls that last until used. <clears throat> this guy's trying to cook, but it just looks like British food. You guys are mean. Meanies. Okay, we have uh, Yone 2 carry. Okay, we just got 6 0 That's not good. We... We... <laughs> We five streaked into f we into four loss. Actually, we technically six streaked. We six streaked into four loss. We were at 100 HP at the beginning of the stage. And now we're at 57. Man, that does not feel good. Yikes. I mean, he did take very to be fair. He did take very treasures. So he's going to be like having a uh, lower power level because he, he needs an entire stage to get the prismatic augment finished. But yeah, it doesn't feel good. <clears throat> Bard. Okay, we go to eight. He's clearly waiting to go to eight, or he's going to roll all of it at seven. He's rolling for all at seven. No, he's going to eight. He's going to eight. Roll. Irelia? Oh, man. Why does he look so dizzy? Oh, he does not know what he wants to do. Okay, do you guys remember when I went eighth with Yone? Wasn't it, didn't it look a lot like this? It looked like a lot like this, didn't it? <clears throat> I was like, oh, let me play four Reaper. And then I was stuck on like Yone 2, and then I just like died. I like lost. And today we've only been watching people top four with Yone. He top four with Yone. What's going on here, man? This dude is lost. Now he has to go Kane. Oh, he's going duelists. Uh, nope. Nope. He's playing twin Terry Yone. More items. What's he actually going to do? He has... He, he just can't decide if he wants to commit to Yone or not. He's going to Duelist. He's going to Duelist. <clears throat> Another Tristana. <laughs> Tristana on the front? Where's our unified value? Our unified value? All right, you know what? I don't feel as bad. I don't feel as bad. Listen, TNT is a hard game. And like... uh. 
uh, TFT is a hard game, and like he's clearly like thinking very hard about what he wants to do. And uh, I, I have sympathy. I have sympathy. It's not easy. He was rolling for Duelist Emblem. I see. He wanted to play Duelist Yone. Okay. Okay. Didn't work out very great, but. Okay, Silas 2. Other over the second Tristana. Irelia 2. What the? Okay, we're back into Umbral. We're back. Oh no. <clears throat> Faded Ash. Okay. I want to play some Ash today. I'm going to play some games after this. I want to see if I can get some like Ash games and some other stuff. I, I played around Silas and Morg. I played around. I want to try the Story Weaver board. Ash feels like another unit I need to play around a little bit more. He looks lost. I mean, he's he's trying to figure it out, but yeah, he, he definitely uh, looks very, very dizzy. Okay, looks like Kane is doing well, though. Kane Silas. Okay. I have a kind of a different take on it. Can viewers play with you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we usually do viewer games. The only the only uh, exception would be if I'm choosing to play an in in-house with other players. You want to try Nine Fortune? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll give it a try if I get an opportunity. Just zero unified value outside of his front line. All your viewers are basically challenge. Oh, your all your viewers are challenges was basically in house. I like that. I mean that's true. I mean my viewers beat me half the time, you know. I think I average like a four in scrims. That doesn't mean I win every game. Not scrims. A four in in houses with my viewers. Nar three, Nar Senna. Oh, what the, what the heck was that? Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Wait a second. Bro, six mo, can't lie. I had this on auto resub and forgot. But for as much as you do for this community, you deserve it. I'm keeping it going. Thanks, Fro Dog. <laughs> Fro Dog, no worry, Pemmy. Six months. Amazing. Thank you so much. And you know what? I'm okay with you forgetting that you left on auto sub, but uh, if you want to take it away, I totally get it. Thanks for supporting me, man. Uh, that was Tattoo of Toxin. Damage applied to Toxin that deals additional 33% damage over three seconds to the wounded target. It's the, it's the anti-heal one. Kha'Zix 3. Oh. Okay, here we go, Kane. Here we go, Kane. All right, we're making a comeback. We're making a slight comeback. And now we're going to nine. Hey, he might sneak out of top four. I mean, a lot of this thanks to the early game that he played. Is the 200 health worth more than the... No, no, no. Unified is better. I think he just straight up forgot about it. He's he's not... I don't think he's thinking about Unified at all. It's gotta be Trubis Kane. Uh, 
I could I could see it being really really good. I don't know if how much Titans really helps, but I think that these canines are very good. Oh, prismatic orb. Wow. You just got the nine with like 50 gold now. Trubus Kane is Sterix Gage, Hodge, and Eon. Okay. Dude, he just had unified value and he took it out. Hey, don't you guys feel better about learning the set now? Like, it's even a player as good as he's second is kind of messing it up. Like he's playing a new set, so obviously he's a lot to think about. But like, dude, he doesn't even—he doesn't even have like uh, his augments. He's playing around. This guy got top ten in the world last set. Okay, well he's about—he's about to die. Noted. No more JG Kane. Yeah, exactly. All right, we might go six. That's not that bad. Encounter. Janna. Two Zephyrs. Irelia two. Okay. Umbral. Umbral Irelia. Oh, God. And like he's playing Umbral, so he's, it's so predictable. Dude, you gotta get rid of this Umbral is baiting him so hard. Sag. Okay, he has unified, he has unified value, bottom center. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. Okay, Silas. Getting it done, sort of. Oh, man. That Wukong staff looks so big. What the heck? Okay. Narrow victory. That was a Wukong, too. Doesn't he just beat us? Bruiser Wukong. All right. Hey, you know what that might be? That might be a unified on your back line diff. That might be a unified on the back line diff. Oh, man. Does he want his for front line? Or the Kha'Zix, probably. Okay, moving up the units. Kha'Zix on the back line. That is scary. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. We did, we, we, we got in front of Kha'Zix. We got in front of Kha'Zix. Hey, top four, maybe? Top four? Wow! Oh my god! This is the top four? That what what a salvage. Alright, third item for Irelia. Uh there is none. Takes crown guard. Moving yeah, the moving up was very good. For sure. He also he, he did the move up to try to dodge the Zephyr as well. Oh, he farmed a guard breaker. Oh, I see. Smart. It's nice to figure out the uh, the Zephyr situation. Dude, these, this I really a double Zephyr I really or not really a Janna encounter is so troll. So nice, Avery. How's it going? How's it going? It's going all right. Uh, I feel like I don't feel like as bad about my gameplay because I feel like C some really good CM players are also getting dizzy. Oh, nice! He dodged again. 
Miss Unified on the Aurelia. Wow. The Aurelia 2 is very cool. Looking for Orn. Yorick. I think it says your uh your rerolls are now one gold. Okay, Udir pair. Nope. One Udir. Never mind. Nice. Galio two. Nar. Oh, this is a Nar player. The Nar reroll with uh, Syndra. So he has Nar three, Rexai three, and Senna three. Ink Shadow Nar. Oh my god. Wait a second. This Nar is kind of a Chad. Oh, almost, almost. Dude, honestly, if we position a Nar in the, in the other side, we probably would have won this fight. Is that Toxin? Yeah, that's the tattoo of Toxin. Damage applied that deals an additional 30% over three seconds. It doesn't sound that bad. I mean, okay, so you have Nar. Nar who says gain 2% attack damage upon attacking getting hit. Fire boulder doing physical damage in a line. I mean, yeah. I feel like Nar would want something like the tattoo of vitality or something like that, but I don't know. I guess not. I don't know. Maybe it's just a bunch of stats. Oh, you're saying that the, the ticks of damage from the Tattoo of Toxins scales his uh, AD? Oh, interesting. Ah, that's... I, I, I never thought of that. Huh. Now that is Woksh, in my opinion. You play Tattoo Gnar because you try to scale his ability with the burn. That is pretty next level. Oh, God. Oh, God. Kha'Zix on her back line. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Kha'Zix is trolling. Wait, is it all good? It might not be all good. It is not all good. We are dead. I mean, fourth is okay, I guess. Heavenly... The Heavenly Reroll, the Reaper, and the Heavenly Crest. Jeez. So we've had... Kindred... We had a Loon Reroll. Wait, Orn 3. What is this? Four Reaper, a Loon. Oh, they were going for Yone reroll. And then I just hit Orn three and, and a Loon three. Okay. And then we had Nar reroll. And then we had uh, du Irelia duelists. Not really. It was like Umbral duelists. That's why I was looking for Orn. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. And then Kha'Zix reroll. Okay. Adding that to the the list. So first was uh, Yone, Orn three. Kha'Zix reroll. Third was Nari roll. Fourth is uh, Umbral Duelist. Wow, what a what a what a weird lobby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice job, nice job. We deduced, we deduced. I mean, I don't know what this Kha'Zix three is hoping to do. Maybe he assassinates backline. 
and then they all gang up on Orn 3. But doesn't Orn 3 just win this? Yeah, we have Wukong 2. Yeah, we have Kane 2. I guess it's like Orn 3 has only one item. Okay. Orn. Oh! How many items did they throw out? One, two, three, four items? Pretty good. Nah. All right. And that's it for the VOD. All right, so what do we think? What do we think? How good do we think China is right now? <laughs> scale of uh, scale of 1 to 10. Hit me with it. What do you guys think? How good is China right now? <laughs> oh, man. 0 out of 10. Not close to EU. Oh, wow. That's pretty low. J JG out of 10. All right. Simmer down, you guys. Simmer down. You guys want to play some PBE? Couple PBE games to wrap it up for today. Probably play like three or so. Three or so. All right. If you guys want to sign up, go to my Discord. Go to the channel PBE Viewer Lobby. Sign up and sign up that way. I'll play a few of them to wrap it up for today. All right, we got solo mid, by the way, PBE. Oops, I was pressing uh, the wrong buttons. Solo mid, by the way, PBE. Shago, PBE. The Decker. Ninja Mittens. Asha Uni. And Pochita. And we actually have what one more spot. All right. I think they lowered Galio 3 ability duration so he does more damage now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, solo mid. Shago. Uh Decker's in the middle of the game. And then we'll roll like this. All right, I'm going to play probably like two or three games today. So this is game one. And then I'll uh, call it. And then tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't think we're going to do the podcast. Thought about it. Uh, I, I'm just probably, we're probably going to do it next week. We're going to try to get the head of TFT Esports on a podcast with us for next week. You grief Frodan and I'll grief Raptor. Okay, business. <laughs> nice. Mort's boss on the podcast. It's actually not his boss. It's uh, it's actually just the head of e e t uh, of Global Play, which is Project L and TFT. Artifact Anvil, Golden Gala, and Champion Delivery. I need to change my little legend. Ninja Mutants muted them. So one actually deafened. Fro Dance Comp. Why is everyone deafening? What's going on? Why is everyone sweating? Rek'Sai. Have a nice stream, Dan. Lots of love from Vienna. Thank you, Kinteshi. Have a good night. Anybody peacing out for tonight? Have a good night. Have a good... Ooh, Soraka pair. This world needs hope. The thing is, is Soraka as good at early game? I guess we can find out. Why does everyone keep unmuting themselves? Just just stay deafened. Stay deafened. No, I might just deafen to not get these notifications anymore. Just stay deafened. Get in touch with your spiritual side. 
Get in touch with your spiritual side. I mean, Riven's a story weaver. Okay, so I'm going to pick up Jack's pair here. I'll just sell Ari. Ooh, tier. I am awakened. Lucky streak. I mean, that's probably good to start off with, right? Scapegoat. What doesn't kill you? Sleight of hand. Pumping up. Probably just lucky streak then. Uh, Hull Crusher, probably. Probably Hull Crusher, just early stats. Actually, isn't this Aatrox peer better? It probably is. Uh, maybe just Shiv, I guess. Shiv is just better early, I think. I should have actually just played this Aatrox. Maybe I'll print two gold. Or three gold, rather, and win. Let me dream. Let me dream. Print one gold, at least? One gold, Soraka? He's attacking a lot. Sag. Uh, let's see. There's another bruiser as well. I'm playing the stronger board right now. Is Eternal Winter no longer good? Oh, uh, it's not that it's no longer the go-to. It's just that I wanted something that made sense with my items. In my setup. And, and gold generation is generally pretty good early. If you get gold generation early, it kind of snowballs. I should probably just rock it like kind of towards the center so she AOEs more. Gina. Ari. Oh, Riven too. Big time hits. Big time hits. Okay, so then I do something like this. This unit can come out. I can probably play a Shen for the Ghostly. Actually, I can probably just play a second one of this. Just lets me make gold. Why is Raptor level 5? Why is Raptor level 5? Don't tell me. What I think. Oh, I got a gold. It means I probably sell to make, uh... To make the G's, right? You gotta make money to make money. Rule number one of money is uh, have money. So you can make more money. <clears throat> Hope everyone's day is going good. It's going great, man. I get to hang out. Honestly, I kind of I kind of feel like I need to play more TFT. I need, I, as much as I've been watching to try to improve, I do feel like I need to play a little bit more. I'm still not like... I still don't feel like up to speed with the set, if you know what I mean. In tune with it. What do I do with this cloak? I 
Okay, I guess a rod. This set feels much less RNG. Really? Wow, you may be the first person I hear say that. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people think the set is like, wait, it has a lot of RNG in it. That's actually fascinating. Do I want a third heavenly? I get crit. I get a little bit more AP bonus. It's not that good. It's not that good. Oh, I could have. If I kept the Tom Kench, I could have played for, uh, for Bruiser. Damn. All right. My board is looking good. Gave me critiques of the set so far. Sorry if you've already commented on it. Yeah, my critique of the set is that uh, obviously there's a lot of like high variant stuff that might end up compromising competitive integrity. But, uh, and I also think that the sets. Hmm. I think the econ trait fortune is like pretty underwhelming. And I, and I do think for the sake of like TFT that you kind of do want them to be good. I know there's going to be like, okay, I don't want it to be good. I, you know, I don't want an econ trait to be good, but I want it to be good. I want it to be good. Are you doing viewer games? Yeah, we're doing viewer games. We're doing viewer games. Level four again. Ooh, a gold just from moi. Senna, Tristana, Yone, Galio, Lilia, Morgana. Wow. How do I join? Yeah, uh, there's a command exclamation point V games to join. Uh, join the Discord server. Actually, uh, nice there. Can you update my title? Just to say viewer games. Oh, four bruisers? Just like that? I hit a Silas. Am I the goat? I might be. I might be. Okay, Yasuo. Zoe. I already have bruisers. I'll sell this. Tom Kench. What's Biss for Silas? Honestly, I kinda wanna slam Death Cap here. Is that is that crazy? I kinda wanna slam Death Cap Silas. Like, Crown Guard is also good as well, but... I'm going for it. Giga Chad. Whoa! Sniper's Focus? Ethereal Blade Shen. Whoa. Oh my god. Hold on a second. Oh man. He need he needs attack speed, but uh <laughs> Long Shen, Long Shen. Damn. <laughs> what am I playing my next level? Oh no. Portable Forge, Support Cash. Support Cash might be good. The positioning stuff is a little bit difficult with the... Like, this is worse because of this Hulk Crusher, though. Um, 
Falk is interesting. I have more items than usual. In the Fallen. Oh, Keepers. Uh, let's see. Do I want Kaisa? I guess I could Tekken Ghost. I'll probably just Tekken a bit heavenly. It gives me a little bit of resistances, which is actually really good with the Bruisers, so... Probably fine. I should probably play the Tom Kench over the Rek'Sai as well. Oopsie daisies. I'm debating if I want to actually like get cyber value here. Okay, everything's looking good so far. The question is, who do I actually want to play this on? I guess I could play it on anybody. I could just I could put these items just on Morgana straight up. Play Morgana, Galio. And just play Bruiser's uh Bruiser's Morgana. Rek'Sai too. Okay, well I definitely hold on to that now. Syndra. I will not hold back. Well, I just I just naturaled all my two stars this game. I'm just high rolling. Lilia, wait. Lilia's contested this game. That's not good. Frodan streaking match. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I, I hit all my, I hit all my two stars. I don't know what to say. I hit Silas early. Frodan, it's Galio Morgana exalted. Yeah, I know. You think you're not contested? No, no, no. I'm not contested. No one's gonna. No one's gonna get it. No one's gonna get it. You think any of the side route arguments are better this set because encounters give so many items? Yeah, it, it possibly can. My destination is it's po it, You possibly can. Like part of the thing about encounters is that they give you random items a lot of times. Random gold as well. I think I want. I, think I want an anti heal component. Okay, I think I'm going to take Soraka 2 then. Soraka 2 and I make Crown Guard on Silas. Crown Guard, Death Cap. I mean, that sounds like a lot, actually. A lot of AP. Fortune Invoker. I mean, I should level here. Nothing, though. I have nothing to play. Not even Arcanist. Huh. I'm playing Syndra because she might actually be something I play. I'm not entirely sure. I might play around Syndra until I can, uh, until I can actually hit another unit. Oh, another goal. Man, Syndra is OP. Or sorry, uh, uh, Silas is OP. Rip 20 gold. I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm streaking. Two Trickster's glasses. Oh, what the heck? That's perfect for the Cybers. One. And then, do I want a Trickster's glass Rek'Sai or do I want a Trickster's glass Riven? I'll just go Rex, Rexai. More HP, more win. Storyweaver Arcanist. Dragon Lord Sage. <laughs> you have infinite. Yeah, me too. You, you and me both have infinite frontline. 
<laughs> oh man. I have Dragon Lord Sage here. Successful streak, make 40. Man, things are going great so far. Um, Balloonay. Allowy. I probably I think I ultimately do play uh Arcanists. Shojin. Oh wow. Or die in and what do I have with this? That is nothing. This is nothing. Okay, this is what I'm playing, and I'm just gonna level at this after this, I think. I'll fight pair. I'm sus when things are going well. What? Why? What is with my mod? My mods are my biggest hate watchers. I just realized. They believe in me the least. Things are going too well, guys. Get used to it. I'm actually playing this game for real. I'm playing straight up. It's okay to open up your heart and trust again. Also, this uh this Shen does not look like it's it's doing very much right now. Oh, okay. oh double cybers. Crown guarded. Probably double cybers. Okay, so I have this story weaver. Talisman of aid. Talisman, of, do I want Talisman of Might or Talisman, Talisman of Aids? Maybe, maybe, maybe Might. Get a little bit more AP going. Not speed. No, I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Uh... Might be a little optimistic on this, but we'll see. The reason why I don't think I need Talisman of Speed is because I already have this to give me attack speed. So that kind of defeats the purpose of that, isn't it? Most heavenly. Like, I, I'm playing the Story Weaver because I feel like I want a little bit more magic damage. Because my front line was so good for so long. Although, I guess I did lose the uh, the double the double triggers class. But, yeah. More attacks is more gold. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, so I have Galio. I don't. I don't have Morgana. I'm holding on to Diana for the possibilities as well. I mean, this is just a story for you. I mean, like my my board's fine as is. <laughs> I like how everyone everyone is so unused to me, like like win streaking and doing well. Everyone's like encouraging me. Wow, Frodian's still win streaking in stage four. God, yeah, it happens. It happens. Don't act so surprised. Half the time I'm playing Woke's lines in PVE. Yeah. 
How do you feel about exalt? I think exalt is really, really good. Personally. Exalted is like the thing about Exalted is that um actually I should hold on to this Jan up here, right? So I don't think I'm gonna play around Yone and Senna. I think I'm gonna play around Galio, Morgana, plus one, maybe Lilia. I mean people wanna play around Lilia for the Exalted as well. One of my first games this set, man, this shit feels awful compared to set ten. Wait, all five costs. Oh. Uh, all right. That is not good. I want. I think I want anti heal components. And the only anti heal component here is half of a uh, Sunfire. Uh, do I want Janna here? I'd have to, I'd have to deconstruct my, my backline a little bit. I can do this and just say, I mean, I don't, this doesn't really do a lot though, to be quite honest. Cause like it gives me duelists and I have no items for Irelia and least it, it, it doesn't even give me dragon Lord. So. Can we invest on Galio here for a double cyber value? You're losing the next one XDD. You think so? What about the next one? What about the next one, huh? What do you think? What do you think? Am I losing this one? Oh, Puchita's coming for me. No. Heavens bless me. I mean, overall, this is a pretty good core strategy to what I'm, I'm going to be doing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing a lot of AP on launch. I just want to learn a lot of AP. Lilia too. Okay. Aphelios three. Okay. Okay. A lot of, a lot of boards look strong. Okay. Okay. I, I, I think I lose now. I think I lose now. I lose now. I lose now for sure. I think I give whole crusher to Silas and I start moving these items across. Strong rerolls is set. Uh, I'll put a, a cop list after the weekend. But I'm pretty sure the strong rerolls are like, uh, like Yone is really good. Aphelio seems really good. Teemo seems good. Bard seems good. You could also reroll like Lux and probably like Kindred. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Also, my board is like, huh. board is so efficient. What am I going to play at nine? Galio Morgana, so I have Galio Morgana, and then um, maybe just like just like a Lily or something like that. So I have three Exalted, Silas, like Zyra Khan. Your bench is full. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? No anti heal. Yikes. That's not good. I took out Story Weaver, but I just want to see what how how well it does one round. Sell this. No, no, 
on my Silas. Also, no anti-heal versus this feels like a really bad idea. Oh, God. Okay, so now I go to nine. Oh, encounter. Can't you gold on enemy kill or ally death? Probably gold for a kill. I'm optimistic. Riven two. Legends are told in word and deed. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? My journey's only beginning. Couldn't figure out how to do it better. Shit, that was not what I wanted to do either. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to. I want to play another uh, Lee Sin for the Dragon Lord. Wait, do I have Dragon Lord in? No, I want to play Diana. I want to play Diana. My bad, my bad. I got lost. I got lost. I got lost. Can I take in another unit? Senna, Yone, maybe Yone. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. Diana too. Sell this. Lilia. I can sell this, this, this. So we probably, I don't need Lee Sin probably either. I don't think I'm playing much of the Dragon Lord if I can. Unless I, unless I can afford it, I guess. Also, where's Silas, man? Guess I'll hold on to this set in case. I could take it out two bruisers. So I can take out a Silas plus uh plus one. Uh I mean no anti-heal has been really uh, punishing me as well. Heavenly. Um Runids. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. I mean, that's fine. Spirit, reveal our way. Stick to the plan. We have a plan. We have a plan. Okay, so I re-spread out my items. I, I got out of four bruisers. And I think that should be good. I can take it out of this as well. I'm bet my set's benching. Oh, what the heck? Oh my God, I'm getting clapped by Sniper's Focus Shin. That's not good. Silas. I mean, I didn't think I was going to hit Silas, too. So, what am I playing here at 10? I think I'm going 10. Just like, I don't know what I'm playing. I guess I could play like a warden or something like that.
Maybe we can go to 10 and just play another Sage. Play Wukong too. Forget Lee Sin. Okay, come on. Let thank for the the raid. No, Aphelios. Man, I'm getting more. Oh, again. it's so close. Hey, Blender, thank you for the eight months, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, I think it's actually not that bad though, like all things considering. I just need to find Galio 2, Rakan 2, Wukong 2. I can replace Set for this. I can cut out of it entirely. Get out of Silas. And go for like Wukong. Itemize Wukong 2. Sell this. Sell this. I just need anti-heal. 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 More oh Morello, Morello, Morello. Oh wow. Oh amazing. Uh, I guess I just put this on Wukong, I guess, for now. Let's give him some cyber value. It's fine. At this point, this, this thing doesn't farm gold. Oh, it's so close. Oh, man. That's like a two-star diff. A four. No, this Pachito guy is like so BM. Every person that gets eliminated, he just like does like a, a salute. It's arguable that I should have put this Gambler's Blade onto Rakan. Isn't that the dude that griefed your fortune cash out? <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. Like a beast. I mean, I hit a bunch of two-star legendaries. Surely I should be able to win this fight. Oh my god, really, man? Uh, I lack single target damage, is why. Really, dude? All right. That's a that's just that's that's just unreasonable, man. That's just un-American. Like, what is that? Okay. Khan getting in there. No, she kept, everyone kept shooting the unit that wasn't uh, this guy. I'm gonna lose to I'm gonna lose to Tom Kench. All right. All right, GGS. 
I mean, the problem is my comp lacked single target damage. I mean, fourth is fine, honestly. Raid boss, ethereal, but he actually hit the giga nuts. Yeah, I can't beat that Shen board. What's the premier single target carry? Shen three. That guy was uh that guy was literally immortal. Can't beat him at all. All right, uh, Brink Bozo, Broken Bozo, Zento, Kaisu Technon, Jamin Libre. <clears throat> how's the combo? How's this combo not disabled? Because people they want they want OP combos to exist. They want OP combos to exist. People think OP combos are fun to play. People want to feel powerful in TFT. Okay. All right, Broken Bozo, Jamin Libre. Actually, can someone take? All right, whatever. We went too uh, too late. Actually, can we invite somebody? Is someone able to join? Uh, let me see. It's all made up. Katsana PB. Put me in, coach. All right, I got you, Keen. And Zento. Oh, deck. I just missed you. My bad, CJ. Next game. Next game. I got. I got one more game after this. I'm. I'm gonna play two more games. Time to stream snipe. Good luck. Good luck. I'm trying out the Weijin Yone tech. Okay. Open four into Yone reroll. I mean, I thought my board was pretty reasonable. I mean, it's still top four, but like, I thought my board could have gotten at least a win or two. It just, and I'm just losing out, which is pretty sad. Gen 3 just 1v9. Yeah. It, it's specifically raid boss with the with the hero augment. Raid boss and it, it is basically two hero augments. It makes uh Yone it makes uh Shen and it makes Yorick unkillable. Very broken. Kha'Zix, Garen, Kha'Zix, Tristana. Spirits are calling. Garen, Kha'Zix, Tristana, Galio, Kane, and Lilia. Oh, Timo. Get in touch with your spiritual side. Fortune. I kind of want to see if I can get for if I can go for uh, a Yasuo Ari reroll. I heard that this augment or this setup can be pretty good. It depends on your augments, depends on your items. Oh wow! Actually, I'm gonna do this. Invoker crown, trash treasure. Oh, these are not good items. Trash and treasure? Wait, 
What did he get? Ash. I alone decide my fate. Uh, let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> that didn't do anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll reforge. I'll reforge. I'll reforge. It's fine. It's fine. All good. I was going for, I'm going to go for blue buff Nash or something like that in Mari. And I'll reforge both of these. Okay. Random augments. Maybe I should take in prismatic goal uh ticket instead. I don't know. I kinda I kinda like this idea and then reforge. Eternal Winter and Manazine. Okay, so then I could do something like Eternal Winter sounds pretty good actually. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm thinking very, very hard. So basically, I kind of want, I kind of want to know if I, if I actually want to hold on to these items, and I could reforge these as well. So I could like actually play this for stage two, make another full item on Yasuo, and then reforge it. Pretty cool, right? All right, snapshots, confirm this. Phileos, Thresh, Syndra. Or the faded, other other faded unit. That's the... Oh, Kindred. I don't know how good this is, though. Hmm. Can you just reforge the same item? No, because if you reforge only artifacts, it turns, it consumes it. So if I reforge this, it, it consumes it. You don't get infinite uses of it. Okay, I don't know if Mana Zane is good. I probably... It's probably not that good. Oh, well. Shojin on Thresh. I'll take that. I just reforged that as well. I might. I think I might as well. I have, like, Mana Zane. Maybe that's just good enough for Ari to kind of overwhelm. I play Front Loaded Burst. And I just focus on blue buff uh, Syndra or something like that. What if you reforge a tier with the mana zane? Does the reforger disappear? It do uh, I think it does. It says, I think it's only completed items. Reforging completed items turns them into random artifact and does not consume the forger. So I think I can make a Shojin here. Do I want to actually play? Oh man, this this augment is actually really hard. Oh my gosh. Do I want to? F I probably five loss with this, don't I? Hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> wow, man, his name Shojin. Okay. Play for like it, it actually does a lot of damage fast. Okay. RE2, RE2. What the forge? So yeah, what the forge was so much simpler. This is like I I want to hold on to some things. Like for example, I want to hold on to the ability to play for shred. So I'm gonna hold on to those units or those items. But I already have mana zane. Does that mean I want shojin? But if I reforge both, that means I lose both, which means I might get something that's like not for RE as well. So I think I just play this. And that's kind of a consequence of me putting the tier on the RE. Interesting. This dog was hard. I, I need I need more reps on it. <clears throat> Winning here would be nice. I think I do. Dude, Ari. Ari is so good. What the heck? And then the other thing unit is set. Uh, don't need Nico long term. You just play another. You play Orn. <clears throat> yeah. So the advantage of Trash to Treasure is you could play things like. Uh, what the forge type strategies, but then you could like guarantee that you get spark and uh, sunfire stuff like that. Oh, Morello. Can our spirits be friends too? This is a faded unit. Myth. Do I just can I just slam Morello on uh I, this I probably roll a little bit here just to see if I can this increase the odds a little bit I really like 30. oh wow I missed really hard Morello's like fine on Nico I guess Okay, it's probably it probably wasn't roll. It probably wasn't roll. I'm so far away. I had this duplicator is why I I, I wanted to go for it. But I, <laughs> I, cause I heard someone someone told me that Yasuo uh, uh, Ari can be really good, especially if you have artifact items. But I, I'm I'm just trying to follow that lead. But I have so few Aries. Maybe I can go for like Yasuo three instead. I don't know. Oh, there's no augment either. Oh. Wow, no augment. No, we're playing Stillwater Hold. So bedge. So bedge. Oh, man. I mean, I'm doing okay combat wise. Maybe, maybe I just try to push levels here. Like I'm a little bit on the broker side and that's okay. <clears throat> Dude, man, is Nari kind of slaps. He like nukes things so fast. Do I want duelist instead of the heavenly? 
mean, kind of, yeah. My destination is clear. I mean, I do get a little bit of, I do get the HP, which is nice. Don't get me wrong. But the Yasto is like a really big part of the team. It's 60% attack speed. It's kind of a lot. Put these guys on Stinger. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm supposed to just push levels. I'm so far behind the Ari count that trying to force Ari is, uh, I mean, if I, if I try to force Ari from here, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to like miss and then, uh, and then it's going to be like one of those, like, how could I roll so much gold and not find Ari? I mean, okay. So then do I actually want to play faded then? I guess I can just try straight up vertical faded, five faded, and then flex around it, maybe. Syndra. Thatch. Uh... It doesn't matter, I guess. Just take tier. That's a two X, yeah. Two X. Oh, seven Yasuos. I mean, still though, the thing is, I have so many. I'm not. I'm so far away from Ari. I'm still so far away from Ari. Is the problem? Man, I really want to roll for Yasuo three and Ari three. Badge. I'm gonna position Ari here. Yeah, what up, Void? How goes it, friend? Oh, you sell Yasuo here. Nice. Okay. Ari, of course. Of course. Makes sense. I want to make gold with my duelist, so I probably should have potentially played Volo Bear. By level to seven? If so, for what? Not really. Four at nine. I mean, yeah, maybe I just roll for RE three at six. That sounds terrible, but hey, I've I've heard worse strats. Hmm. I don't know if I actually beat this fast enough. I feel like RE. I feel like the Caitlyn whittles me down. Bro, D Claw Shen Tu. No anti heal. Okay, so. There are no faded units. I mean, maybe I'll try to play this game without Exalted. You gotta know, just try to play this game without Exalted, see how it goes. I mean, I can also just take in Kha'Zix. Play a Heavenly setup as well. The power of a dragon. Shiv. I have this. Heavenly. All right, so I reforge this. Man is oh, what the?
Actually, should I put this both here? I'll put this on Volibear Bear for now. I haven't decided how I want to actually play for this. I, I, I'm actually gonna. I'm not gonna reforge this because Soraka got Death Cap, and that's actually really good. No augments this stage. Oh crap. There's just no augments at all this stage. What the heck? No augment stage two or three. Oh man, I'm so broke as well. Oh dear. Duelist. Garen, Kha'Zix, Tristana, Galio, Kane. EFG, okay. Also, by the way, I didn't, uh... Oh, never mind. I'm good. I didn't buy Julio. I'm pretty sure Faded does not, is not very good without that. My instinct is telling me this is not very good. Another player who has a Zier. Oh, snap. Okay. I think I'm going to get out of this. I have a bunch of Sorakas, and I'm thinking this is better for Soraka than anything else. I might just go for the other build. Let me see. Zoe, Soraka. Janna, Zyra, Riven. Um, missing Diana and plus one. Potential. Light him up. Uh, Bruiser? Who's the Bruiser? The Galio? Oh, Nico, Nico, Nico. Base seems worth if your carry is Syndra or Kindred, but I don't think I don't think I have that good Syndra items. I don't think I don't think the setup is that good for Faded, and I feel like I'm I, my 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 comp is leading me towards a three cost three roll. I think I just want to play this. Yeah, Morgana eight eight Mor Morgana if I hit her as well. Ha. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, okay. Um, probably just any unit that I want to reroll for. Good night, Raptor. Have a good night, buddy. All right, so I'm gonna grab this. I have Nico too already. Crap, I'm gonna have to report this, aren't I? Probably not, actually. Shiv. These three items onto Zoe. Hey Zoe, this, this. Play this for now. Sub this out. I have a Silas pair. Come out. I'm just transitioning. I'm just transitioning. Oh wow! I didn't kill anything. I'm gonna sell this. Cut Syndra. Okay. I need, I need to find Riven. I need to find Riven. And then I think I'll play for... Um, oh, I get to play for Shred and then Reef. Oh, I see. I see. 
I get to play for Shred and I get to reforge the, the Shiv as well. This story is not yet finished. What is this? I get to play Talisman of Aid and then I get to reforge this. And then. I'll just put this on Yas for now. Yeah. Do I have Janet already in? Oh, three Arcanists. Okay, so I think this, this is a real cob. The one, what I'm playing right now is the actual real cob. The problem is I, I'm on Zoe 1. This person has Tom Kench 3. And Bard 3. Oh, wow. And he's holding actually, he's holding Nikos and Sorakos. Oh, God. I'm going eighth. He's holding all my units. Oh, oh dear. <clears throat> Two. So we two. Okay, so then <clears throat> if I get to eight, I just play. I mean, I probably. Uh, can I even hit Zoe three? Yeah, I found sad. I know. I, after I, I, I have. Uh, after I, I pivot out of a uh, umbral, I know. We are made by our choices. This is necessary, as you wish. Burdens of the past. Deny me no longer. Reforge this. Remove this Morello on Soraka I don't know man this ended up not being very good I ended up playing into something that was kind of contested wait Zoe? Rakan? Oh, nice! Oh, it's so close! Yes! Oh, man. That's very, very close. Working out with set makes you bigger. Finally, I get my second augment. I live to the second augment. Oh, man, you guys. I live to the second augment. Oh. Ugh. Why no mana zane, Zoe? Because she kills. She depends on if you kill. If you actually kill. Do you think mana zane actually helps her kill? Also, I need to figure out what to do with uh, this. Unified. Best friends is actually probably pretty good. Oh, item grab bag's a random artifact as well. I'm actually... Hmm. What's your name? That's better. Five Dianas, six Nikos, five Zoe's, two of these duplicators. I guess I have to send after this turn. If someone could kill Zento, that'd be great. He has all my units. No one's strong enough to take him down right now. 
long distance house heroic grab bag This is so silly, man. All right, whatever. It is what it is, you know. No, Yoni's on my back line. Okay, okay. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, man. Thank goodness. Oh, kill him. Yes. Oh, man. Thank goodness. Okay, that, that's why I didn't find the Sorakas, though. Uh, What do I want here? Unit-wise, Story Weaver Emblem. Taking that, I guess. I can just reforge it. Just... <laughs> I don't know about justice. It's just it feels like uh, I survived long enough. I could top four this game. I could top four. It's top horrible. For sure. It's a close game. Um. Manazane again. Screw it. Manazane Zoe anyways. Or uh, Reforge and Manazane Zoe anyways. I've seen worse. <clears throat> How bad could it be? Double Zoe three. Oh no, this Yone. Yone, no! Oh god. I'm dead. Bro, this game was so cursed. I, I was I, I ended up being uh, pretty super contested and I rolled so much, took heroic grab bag and all these duplicators, and I just couldn't hit for a long time. Six? That's okay. I mean it, it, I I should have uh I should have either heavily committed to it or uh like the the early reroll or I should just push levels but I felt like rerolling from that spot made more sense also the lack of augments was hard for me as well w double Zoe busted the, the KO yeah that's true that's true okay last game I got one more game before I mean, I'm gonna call it for today man I really wanted to play the the RE reroll but I didn't get a chance to I probably should just committed to it All right, I got Happy, Politicess, Soul Sophia. I'm just going to invite everybody here on this list because it's the last game for today. Doozy, Saber. Shog, you played already, right? I'm going to uh, just make sure to invite people who didn't. Cat, Meow. Really? Bad Penny. Okay, dude. Silver Fang and the Decker. I, I send out like 15 invites, so surely we fill up. First come, first serve. Three, two, one. Good night, TJ. Later, man. And.
Would you have JG or the Arcanist Augment Mind Over Matter for third? Uh, probably Mind uh, Mind Over Matter. I feel like this set is heavy on magic tank units. It's it's definitely pretty high. I don't. I wouldn't say it's like. I wouldn't say it's like uh it's too much though. Let's see, there's Orn, there's uh Alawi, there's Mumu. I mean okay, to be fair, there's not many like A D tanks in general. Like most tanks are magic because they they usually depend on their ability to like the AP to scale their shield. So like I actually wouldn't say that. I feel like most tanks are actually magic. Crab rave, we can crab rave it up. All right. That was a good first rep, though. I feel like I'm going to be able to execute that a little bit better next time. Stay down. I have an early lock. My destination is clear. Maybe start off with this. I, I want to make sure I can make gold. Actually, Kog'Maw Caitlyn is also reasonable as well. So I actually, I want to try this opening again, see if it's good. see this opening is still good the thing is i think snipers cap pretty low in general is in every tank imagine i i just explained it like so if, if uh, every every tank in general scales off of their ability and an ability often scales with ap like shielding and healing and stuff like that so yeah like in general tanks tend to scale off of ap there's not many like ad tanks over encumbered oh caretaker's ally i mean i don't really want to cost reroll though silver veil the reason why i don't want to cost rules because uh crab rave caps boards really high but maybe i play caretakers anyways into a, a strong two cost three star over encumbered component buffet Two star. Do I have another bruiser? I don't. Staying low level because I'm playing a bunch of one cost. Damn. Set is AD, but he's not a tank. Set doesn't want to actually. Uh, you don't want him to actually take damage. That's a five cost melee carry. Dax, tank, Comcan, Crush. Oh, six or night attack. Oh, diamond hands. And then this sniper's focus, Sonia's. <laughs> okay. Uh... 
only one goal? Well, at least I get a goal. Some people aren't going to get gold at all. Okay, so I just ended up selling this. Do I actually win? Oh, I can probably sell this. You got a second to Reapers? That's okay. Nice try. I play this and I have 30 gold. I think I stacked Shogath. Because getting the, the stats on him is really good. All right, so I think you want to try to get Mythic as fast as you can as well. I don't have Mythic. You really want to play like Nico, for example. So I'm going to try to see if I can get that going. <clears throat> I can also just play this into a tempo curve as well, which is probably more likely what I should be doing because I don't have like an overwhelming amount of Kog'Maw's and I don't have like a lot of uh, a lot of reason to reroll. So I think I just probably play this. Kane, Thresh, Tom Kench, Tristana, and Jax. Hmm. Not if I can be shed. I mean, I don't think I'm going to reroll. I'm just... I was just thinking out loud. I don't think I'm going to. It doesn't seem like strong game plan right now I don't have like many reasons to do it Moo Moo three cost cloaks okay you can play for like spark Five cogs. Okay, well that's kind of that's kind of good. That's kind of good. And I hit this. All right, I'll I'll stay open. I'll stay open. I might I might hit it. At this point, I might uh, have more cogs by three one or by yeah. And I can just go for it. Lily game. I mean, I, I think I can try Cogma because people have said how is Cogmon, and I feel like I have to try him after the patch. My instinct says he's like okay, but not amazing. So I want to at least give it a try. Caitlyn two. Oh wow, triple Teemo. Teemo pivots. All I have to find is Teemo headliner plus heroic grab bag. What's Teemo? Thirty mana. What do you guys think, Teemo pivot or nah? I think you can actually play Teemo. I actually want to try it. I've heard about Teemo reroll as well. Also looks like uh, this person's holding a bunch of uh, Kog'Maw. Oh, Stay Kog'Maw. No, I, I, want, I want to try Teemo. I haven't actually played Teemo reroll all, ga all uh, uh, set yet. So I'll just play this as an item holder.
Plus, it looks like this person wants to play Kog'Maw, so I'll let, I'll let them. Oh, man, another Kog'Ma. Oh, gosh. Here he has Kog'Ma 3, who? Okay. No. This world needs hope. Shojin. Probably like Death Cap. Sword. Bro, what is this? Come on. Come on. I have component buffet. It shouldn't be this hard. Maybe like a a, a belt component. Maybe Morello, Shojin Morello, Gunblade or something like that. Deathcap. Morello's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking Morello. I was thinking Morello. Twin Terror. Twin Terror Timo. <laughs> I don't think it's called adventure. All right, Twin Terror Timo. Let's let's cook a little bit. Let's cook. This world needs hope. This is good. I actually can do this. Oh, Nautilus. Oh, what the heck? Every river ends in me. I got kind of lost. I got kind of lost. I want this bard. And I was thinking, can I get myth again? And I can. Also, where's my Teemo? Okay, I think I play Nautilus Bard. And then I think I go Bard Trick Shot. So I think I cut uh, the other two units. So it's Bard. And then uh, another Cho'Gath, right? An Armory. Okay. Whoa, Radiant GS. I don't want these other, other components. But Radiant GS is kind of nasty. Oh, but these other these other components are not that good though. I have ten rerolls. I'm going for it. Radiant Vow, no. Radiant Gauge, no. Radiant Vow, no. Radiant Adaptive. Oh what? All right, Radiant Adaptive then. Jack Show. Oh no! That's not what I wanted! Oh god. Alright. Um. All good. <laughs>
I didn't realize I was timed. I didn't realize I was timed. I want Morello. I think I'm going to go Shojin, adapt it, this, and Morello. This is only, this is really good on frontline units, like, like Silas and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm so sad. You guys, I fucked up. Oh, man. All right, no worries. Okay, you know what? Tom Kench carry. Four mythic. Dude, where's my second Teemo? There it is. There it is. Redemption. Dude, I demise the other Tom Kench. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst game of TFT I played all day. Oh my god. All right, whatever. It's fine. <clears throat> I'll, I'll turn this into like something. I, I don't. I don't make a second stone plate. I don't want to make like an edge of night. Uh, I'll just go double Shojin Jack Show. How about that? Oh, no, no, another encounter. Four free rerolls. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Nice. Trick shot. I'll hold that. Okay, but also, um, where's the Teemos, man? Also, I'm streaking. But also, where's the Teemos? Double the No, 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 no. You, you're, you, you, you play too many Arcanists. This is, I'm playing Teemo here. I actually think Teemo Real is good. Why do you guys want me to not play Teemo? I think Teemo is good. Dude, it was Radiant GS, man. What am I doing? What am I doing? Riven 2. Oh, Teemo. I mean, it's probably not Riven. Okay, so it's Teemo, Teemo, TK, TK, Bard, Sivir, Kaisa, and then Nautilus too. There's pretty. It's always going to be these units for the most part. At seven, I play another Bruiser, and at eight, I play two Trick Shops. I know it's brilliant. It's a brilliant. It's a brilliant plan. Emo. Emo. Tom Kench. No way, man. Where are... Alright, I guess I'll just do second time Kench then. Dude, where are the rods? Where are my rods? Where are my rods? I need to find the rods. I have component buffet. 
right here pants grab all right thanks i guess big grab bag i mean i'm over that stationary support inspiring every task sounds pretty good actually oh uplink i don't need i don't need more mana i think i'm just gonna do this Of the past. I'm rolling, see if I can hit Team 03. This tempo matters here. Oh no, I'm not gonna hit Team 03. Oh god. I can't roll more than this right now. Um, okay, Tom Kench is carrying me though. The Timo Tom Kench. Let's go. Not bad. go seven there i mean maybe i guess i could but uh i felt like i felt like i was one teemo off and so like the odds are kind of favorable to me i guess i'll just stack this one uh, or, or just wait one more turn then these are already mythic it actually has more hp all right so i'll just level a seven and play nautilus down here <clears throat> All right. Seven, we play Nautilus. And then eight, we play Sivir plus uh, Kaisa. Montimo. Oh, they're feeding me mana? Feeding me mana? Oh, the Jock Show. The Jock Show clutch. You see that? I got that two mana. It's so useless. Why why am I playing Jock Show? Uh it's all good. I could have had Radiant GS. I just had 10 rerolls and I was like, surely I get like something better, like Radiant Decap or 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 Gunblade, maybe even Archangels, who knows? Radiant oh, whatever. I was just like, surely I can get something something alright. My because the components were bad outside of it. Oh, actually I could use a spat for Mythic Emblem. Wait a second. You guys are going to take all the spats? They're just taking all the spats. Another sword. I swear, man. Bro, <laughs> look, look at how many swords I have. I'm going to show you the other Teemo. All right, you know what? You guys brought this upon yourselves. You guys brought this upon yourselves. It's all good. Get ready for the double Shoujin Teemo. Oh, my God. This is too much. Kindred 3, Yasuo 3, Ari 3. Oh, Teemo power. Yeah, baby. Okay, let's go Teemo. 
What's up, Ramblin'? How does Teemo's projectile work? Throw a spoil dumping at the nearest non poison enemy, poison them for 100 and 1550 magic damage. That's a lot. That is a lot. Emo gaming. Who's bouncing this Teemo unit? I mean, look at how trash my Teemo items are. And I'm still making it work. This Jack show doesn't do anything. It's still too auto cast. It's actually just so useless. But yet. But yet. Watching this Teemo go hard, right? <clears throat> We're throwing for eggs. I'm out of eggs. I'm out of eggs. I, so... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make sure that uh, we, we do have a couple of eggs that we might still have because people block their DMs and therefore we can't message them. So we might have some uh, eggs in limbo that need new homes. But I'll probably be for like tomorrow. If you haven't gotten your egg code, please uh, DM me. Or DM a mod rather. Because tomorrow I'm, I'm probably just going to give them away. TG. Wow. Wow. I'm going to I'm going to not make this. Please don't get mad at me. I keep seeing I keep seeing her in every other shop. go for the double shojin double double adaptive helm oh god this is so silly man shojin nashers i guess oh i have the redemption on the teemo it's actually this also, are you guys watching this Teemo? Remember when you guys were like, nah, don't reroll Teemo. He sucks. Are you guys believers now? <clears throat> Is it really bruisers over mythic? Well, yeah. Because uh, mythic gives 8% uh, HP and bruiser gives 20% HP. And 20% is bigger than 8. And then who else is it buffing? It's buffing Nautilus, which is nice for the CC. But then uh, Bard, Bard is not actually my carry, so... So you see 2600 2900 oh it's a, it's a, it's an adaptive backline let's go nice it's probably twin terror carrying and my chat gives me no credit at all man 
No credit at all. I mean, not wrong. Twin Terror does look like it's doing work. What does Fortress try to do? It gives you two bounces instead of one. So every time he fires, he fires a two extra projectiles. Okay, so I should roll. I should slow roll here. See if I can get Tom Kench three and then go to nine. Play Nautilus. Count guard here looks really good. Um, that fast, I guess. Okay, roll for Tom Kench three, roll for Tom Kench three, or not, or uh, Silas two. Okay. I guess it is contested. Three mythic emblems. He can go for 10 mythic if he gets to 10. Tom catch two. As Tom gets three diff, I, I think if I tap TK three, I win. Really, uh, hard. In reality, I should probably replace. I should probably put this TG on the side list. It does not look like it's doing much on Kaisa, and Kaisa, Kaisa half the time is kind of useless. If I find uh, Zaya, I'll probably put Zaya in and then cut Kaisa. Why not have Sivir between the Teemos? I forgot. <clears throat> I should I should do that. I should do that. You're right. Good call. Loss. 38. No one dying. Oh God. Oh God. Monsters are everywhere. Uh, this is not good. I think I lose. I have no sustain. Wait, Tom Kench? Oh, I got, I got, I got my, I got my rewards. I got my rewards. I think. Wait, Tom Kench? No. Oh, it's so close. Oh wait, top three, not bad. We take those. We take those. I just go for bar three. No, I just barred, and even if I, put, I guess I could have put TG on him, but I feel like this death cap on Timo is actually really good. Man, I'm just so far behind. It took way too long to hit.
We just sell. I mean, bar three doesn't even do anything. Oh, sever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot, I forgot. Uh, Man, I guess I just I'm roll here. I'm getting again. Nautilus too. Okay, I guess I just go nine. This bard three has no value. This bard three has no value. Badge. Wait a second. Okay, never mind. I can't beat him. He's level ten. He's our legendaries across the board. I mean, it's fine. I think I think I, I actually kind of low rolled a lot of things, and I still got third. I low rolled my items. I low rolled my uh, my three stars, and I still got third. I think it's fine. No, so I can TK. I guess I could, but I mean, I kind of, I kind of want to play Twin Terror. I think it was fine. It was okay. Okay, uh, that's it for today. That was fun. GG's, Dank Sinatra TK two. Thanks for the, thanks for the prime. That TK three was for you, TK two. All right, um, that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll be back. If you guys, uh, let's see. If you guys want to see some of my thoughts on the esports news, I posted the video here. Some people were asking about that. That's just my one plug. Also, this Saturday, exclamation point tournament, I'm going to be co-streaming the PBE Masters event featuring like, you know, YFTX, Juan May, Ice, Flancy, 62nd. From NA, we have Soju, Kiyun, Setsuko, Robin, Malala, Solo, Shans, Todi. Uh, Ging, Pate Bowl, Dial Sum. Like, a lot of really, really good players. It's just actually, like, the who's who of TFT is all coming. So, uh, make sure you guys tune into that. Tomorrow, uh, I don't know if I'm going... Actually, I'll probably stream tomorrow. I'll just, I'll just come online. I have to I have to do a couple things tomorrow, but, uh, yeah, I have to film some YouTube stuff. But hopefully I should be able to squeeze it all in. All right. Uh, that's it for all my self-plug stuff. Let's find somebody to host and raid today. Who's online? Zuko's online. What time is the event? It's in the morning. Uh, let me see, actually. That's a good question. Good night, Canolio. Wait, what time does it start? Does he even say? Ha! I don't know. Uh oh, 16 CET. 16 CET to PSD. Or to <coughs> to Seattle now. Eight AM. Sixteen is uh eight PM, right? Or no, it's four PM, it's four PM the other way around. Oh my god, it starts at eight AM? Holy cow. That is very early. Oh god. Alright, so uh tomorrow we're gonna do an earlier stream. Yeah, there's no raffle for an egg. Uh, we, we, we usually do a giveaway for anybody who's here, but uh, I'll catch you guys next time uh, with that. I, I, have to, I have to go and circle back and make sure anybody who has that egg, they have to claim it. But yeah, the, the tournament's actually really cool. So it's going to be on the 16th and 17th. It starts at 8 a.m. for me. There's also other people streaming from different languages. So if you're French... Vietnamese, Thai, Czech, Porti. Wow, it's actually like a full on. It's like a full on production. Even as a Chinese, uh, even as a Chinese co streamer. Look at the people who are featured. This is Kevin Parker, Relic, Unis, Salvi, Skip, Bintum, Ice, uh, uh, Canbiz, 
uh Che Che, Robin, Setsuko, Precedent, Snooty, Kiyun, Malala, Shans, Todi, Onmei, Only In, Kudzik, Soju, Basic, Allen, Michael, Ging, uh, and then Splancy. Is this everybody? Like this is such a stack. This is such a stack tournament. Oh yeah, where's where's uh where's Taito? Taito couldn't make it. Um, so basically, if you want to know what the PB meta is like, you should check out this tournament for the most part. Fourteen players. Day day two is top sixteen. Um, oh. I like precedence pick. Yeah, precedence pretty fun. How good has been precedent? Precedence uh, been improving a lot. Last set, he he didn't have the hottest set, but I think this set he'll do really well. No dish soap. Yeah, it's actually a good point. How come they didn't invite dish soap? Maybe he said no. Maybe he didn't want to leak the tech. Are you gonna review some of the games after? Yeah, I might. Yeah, I might. I'll co-stream it, but I'll also be uh, I'll also be maybe rod reviewing. Maybe do a, a whole thing for it. Like a YouTube video. I just hopped on a game of Hyper Roll on the Vietnamese server. It's the new set. I just thought the new set is coming on the 20th. Uh, that shouldn't happen, Blazing Fart. If that if that happens, you might you might be on PB and you don't even know it. When your PB tier is coming out, probably early next week. The problem is the meta is currently shifting, right? So like, if I if I do a PB tier list right now, it's gonna be outdated in like two days because. The patch came yesterday, so we're still learning it. Like that—that that was the first time some of you guys saw Teemo reroll, right? And now imagine if we optimize that. That Teemo reroll looks like he can actually carry and win the lobby or like top two. So I need to—we uh, need—we need to like refine the meta. So yeah, the the the, the PB tiers will come out uh, soon. Just need to just need to grab the right the right uh, information okay i am going to raid uh kermex tonight have a good night everybody peace no problem jester